Hello everyone. Welcome back to Edutap. So here we meet one more time. So please let me know whether am I audible, visible, and is my pen that is my virtual pen is visible to all of you or not? Hello Nilesh, how are you? Yes. Please let me know whether I am visible, audible. and is my screen visible to all of you or not and is my pen visible to all of you or not the virtual pen i mean is it visible to everyone yes good evening uh good to see you back yes same here yes so everything is going good right cool so here is the moment what we are waiting for for some more time this is the moment right now that we are starting our marathon sessions for nabard grade a the most demanded thing from the students right so yes a formal welcome to all of you again we have a crowd of 40 people with us today okay so this is the form, uh, first lecture of your marathon series which we are targeting for nabard grade a 2023 is yam okay and today we are going to start with the marathon session of computer okay So just let me see the chat box. Yes, everything is working good. Eh? Prashant is asking, sir, we can make. Uh, sir, can we make the notes? Yes, definitely. No one has stopped you, so you can make the notes. Okay. And mind you, we will be starting from the very basics, and then we will go to the very very other PDF. Uh, PDF will be shared. Yes, and then we will go to many other concepts. Like we will be covering computer as. holistic as it could get so i am seeing certain doubts in the chat so just let me take two or three uh, should we make running notes or any pdf yes you will get this pdf but first hold on your horses i am starting my class now so a formal welcome to all of you again okay this is your marathon session first class today we are going computer in today's class okay so in today's class just for your orientation purpose we will be solving more than 90 questions 90 questions are there in my presentation but officially if you see we will be solving more than you know 100 uh, 150 to 200 questions and all these uh, topics have been picked from your previous year question only so every question which is there on my curriculum today and whatever whatever i will be asking you that is related to your previous year question so if you are scoring good in at least in this particular marathon session that is if you are scoring above 50 or something then definitely you are on the right track if you are not scoring then definitely you will have to go back to your planning board okay now on that note my friend first query which i am taking again is this session uh, enough to clear the cut off of nabard grade a and i hope you remember that computer component is of worth 20 marks out of 20 marks if you see the cut off it is it is in the range of 5 to 6 so you have to target a 10 plus score or i would say anything above 9 that would definitely make you clear the hurdle of computer now is this session enough to clear the cut off of nabard grade a i would say partly yes and partly no why yes because i will be covering multiple topics but in this particular class i will not be covering the previous year questions why do not blame it why i am not covering the previous year question because we have already covered the previous year questions of 2019 2020 2021 2022 as well and the video is already uploaded on youtube so all you need to do is just search previous year question nabard grade a computer you will definitely get what you will definitely get what all the list of previous year questions in a video wise pdf of that particular ppt is also uploaded on the telegram channel okay so i will request you to please solve all the previous year questions as well because if you see nabard grade a previous year questions are most important things if you take my view exactly the same previous year questions from 2021 appeared in 2022 and these are not one to uh, these are not just one to two question exactly i would say four questions were repeated so please solve all the previous year questions which are already available on our youtube channel as well as on our telegram channel if you watch uh, the video is hardly of our one hour so you can just watch all the previous year question with the 2x speed okay yes you will get the uh, you will get all the pdfs that is already uploaded on our telegram channel okay 
does PYQ questions repeat again? Yes, definitely they will be repeated again. That is what I am saying. This particular marathon session plus your previous year questions will definitely make the path very much easy for you to clear the cutoff. If you attend this particular class plus if you solve all the previous year questions which we have already solved, that will be the best case for you. Okay. On that note, I am starting my class now. Yes, before I start, please do not ask me again that where I will get the PDF. PDF will be available for this particular class on our Telegram channel. Okay. The link of the same, that is the link of the Telegram channel is given in the description of video. You can just join the channel and the PDF will be available to you by tomorrow noon. Okay. Also, if you are new to our channel, then definitely you can subscribe. You will definitely get many marathon sessions which are planned up. Now, this is a time for marathon. So, let's start our class. I need full energy from you, my friends, because in this particular class, I will be asking you multiple questions. Okay. So, you will have to respond to me. You will have to tell your answers in the chat box. If you are not doing so, then definitely you are doing a big mistake. On that note, I am just taking the chat again so that we can start. Now, uh, Ambika, I have already answered that question. Yes, don't be a couchy potato. That is my line. Do not be a lazy potato. Be something like protein. I would say those who go to gym, they will know the importance of protein. So you will have to develop good qualities. Be interactive in the class. If you want to test my knowledge, you can throw your questions in the chat box. I will show my, my knowledge and you can also show your knowledge as well. Okay. So uh, definitely this class will run up to 8.30 because we have multiple questions to do. Definitely this class will run up to 8.30. But if you uh, give me like best of your energy, then we can uh, like run this particular class in 9 or 10 as well because we have multiple things to do. So let's dive in the question number one currently on your screen now. Okay. Question number one, starting from a very basic level, what term describes the physical and touchable components of the computer system? This is one of the very basic question to just the start, just to start the marathon. I am bringing the very first question, which is very basic in nature. Those who are unable to answer it, very sorry, you are going on a wrong track, but I expect you that you will be able to answer this question. Now, this is taken from the topic number one, that is introduction to computer only. I will be also telling you the topics. What is the term that describes physical and touchable components of computer system? Like there are different, different parts of computer. So what are those particular terms which I can see? I can, they are tangible. I can definitely touch them. Yes, the answer will be hardware. The opposite, I would say those items which you cannot touch, you can only see. For example, MS Word, you can just see. So those are your software. Now, my first question to all of you is, is motherboard a hardware or a software? Is motherboard a hardware or a software? Please reply in the chat box. So this is my first question which I am asking to you to check your knowledge. Is motherboard a hardware or a software? Motherboard. Motherboard is an example of hardware. So good RSF and good everyone who are replying hardware. Why motherboard is an hardware? Hardware is that uh, hardware is that particular component which we can touch. In the same case, motherboard ko we can open up. We can definitely screw up. We can definitely use screwdrivers to open your laptop or computer, and we can take the mother out motherboard out. And what is motherboard? Motherboard is that particular place wherein all the important components of computer are placed. Now, my second question to you is, if this is my computer, this is my computer to you. Now, if I am entering data, tell me whether data is organized or unorganized. Let's take the lecture from very basic. So those who are starting computer today, they will be also able to clear the cutoff. Mind you, solve the previous year questions, then only you will be able to cut, clear the cutoff. When I am entering the data into the computer, then data is organized or unorganized. Fatafat, please write in your answers fatafat as soon as possible. If you don't know, just I would say just write whatever whatever it is coming in your mind. But do fill in the chat box because that will motivate me at least. Yes, it is unorganized. Unorganized means what? Something which is not understandable or I would say something which is not properly organized. So for example, if I'm writing this thing over here, you won't be able to understand it. Now, this particular computer will process this data. Processing, remember, it is a kind of manipulation and then computer computer will give us, us give us uh, give us give us information information is a kind of organized thing organized thing means what that you can definitely understand that what data is all about so for example if data this particular figure is data i have 
my computer has processed this. Now this computer is telling me this particular data is nothing. This is just my name, which is Jalaj. So this is the basic of computer, which you have to remember that computer is that particular machine, which converts data into information. Now data is an input. Ye bhi yaad rakh lena. Data is an input. Remember input means what? That something you are feeding to your computer and information is nothing. It is just your output. Many people don't know about data and information. So I'm covering over this data. I have covered user is nothing. User is the person who is just using the computer. So this is what I would say. Uh, this is what the uh, holistic coverage of question number one is all about. Okay. Now there are different, different kinds of what hardware and software, more questions I will bring in this particular class itself, but that we will bring up as the session progresses. Question number two on your screen right now. Uh, learn essay saying sir answer karna shuru kare uh, you have to do it right now abhi nahi to kabhi nahi that is the case okay and please focus on the lecture i do not need any you know uh, abcd talking in my class let's bring out our best energy consider the following statement now this is 2x of nabard level so if you are able to answer this then you are on the right track but don't get scared up this is also an easy question but it is 2x what nabard will ask Consider the following statement in the context of Abacus. Now, many people will say, what is Abacus? Abacus is also a kind of a computing machine only, but it was invented way back. Now, let's see who are able to answer the question. Uh, all uh, D and E. So, I can see there is a war between D and E. So, if you see Abacus was the first counting device, this statement is very much co correct. This particular question has been taken from introduction. Introduction subtopic is what? History of computers. Now, if you see there is Abacus, there is, uh, I would say, different, different other machines as well. Like we have your, I would say, uh, calculation machine. We have your different, different other machines as well. Like one of the famous is Abacus. Abacus was the first counting device. Mind you, in this particular counting, uh, counting device, you can only do plus and minus. Okay, you cannot do any other uh, tough practices of mathematical procedure. It was developed in Egypt. This statement is incorrect because it was developed in China. So everything which is first, you have to remember it. A wooden frame concept of horizontal rows and beads. Now this is a very journal statement. So only statement one and three are correct. So if you see answer should be option D as per me. So those who have given the answer as options E. I would say they are not going good, but those who have given the answer as D, kudos to them, they are going on the right track. Now, remember my friend, basic, basic, so we have to do it. There is no other, I would say, shortcut. Okay, so you have to do certain, like what are generations of computer and I have certain questions in my particular presentation today. So we will take it as soon as they come up. Okay, so please remember, Abacus was the first counting device. This I have told you. Now, counting doesn't mean that you can do everything over here. You can only do plus and minus. Okay. Remember, there were different, different machines which was introduced. But if you are unable to cover everything, then I would say cover the most important one like a backus. Okay. Therefore, the answer of this particular question was option number D. So let's move ahead. Question number IUS. That was a journal statement, my friend. Every abacus is not vertical and horizontal. You just have to take it as a journal statement. Who among the following is known as one of the inventors of microprocessors? Who among the following is known as one of the inventor of microprocessor? Is it Keith Davis? Is it Charles Babbage? Charles Babbage, mind you, is it is he is the father of computer. Okay, father of computer. He was the one who gave an analytical machine or you can say calculation machine as well. Okay, from the from uh, fr uh, because of his contribution only, we started to talk about inputs. We started to talk about outputs, so on and so forth. Okay, Varun Sharma is just given to confuse you. Alan Turing, Alan Turing, mind you, he is the father of modern computers. So don't get confused. Charles Babbage is the father of computer. Okay, but when it comes to the modern age of computer, then your answer should be Alan Turing. Alan Turing was whom? He was the father of modern computers. Okay, so here we are just saying father of computer. That is father of computer. But here I am saying modern computer. Okay, modern computer. The right answer of this particular question will be option number E. That is your Todd Hoff. Now, if you have attended my previous class as well, we all know that there are three very important personalities which you have to at least remember. We also have father of internet, father of different, different other kind of thing. But these are the very three basic. Charles Babbage, the father of computer. 
mind you this is very very important and this we have understood in our class 5th only if you were if you were attentive in your schools okay then we have father of modern computers alan turing and then we have ted hoff ted hoff is one of the inventors there are multiple people who have invented microprocessors but if you see one of the prominent name is ted hoff therefore the answer of this particular question was option e okay so don't get confused this is what you have to remember at least okay now let's come to question number 4 now first also before you answer this particular question chalo i will give you 10 seconds to answer this question answer this question which of the following option is incorrect mind you you have to identify incorrect in the context of second generations of computer again this is i would say 1.5 times the level of nabard so if you practice something which is tougher then definitely on the d day that is on 16th of october if i'm not wrong you will find your paper easy okay so which option is incorrect with regard to second generation of computer now many people will not even know that how many generations of computer are here first also let me how many generations of computer are here okay how many generations of computer are given in the journal sense is it 1 is it 2 is it 3 is it 4 or is it 5 or is it 6 7 8 9 10 what is your answer how many generations of computer are given how many generations of computer are there i can see a many people are going with a second generation computer replace vacuum tube with transistors okay but maximum people are also going with e so i can see how many generations of computer are also there please let me know your answer yes there are five generations of computer so you have to remember them okay now even if you don't know that uh, even if you don't know that how, which generation started from which particular point of time but the first generation is really very important if you remember the first then second generation is automatically derived that i will tell you let you know now let's solve the question uh, the second generation computer replaced vacuum tube with transistor this course statement is correct they were cheap they here means what the second generation of computer compact they had programming and produce less heat yes this is also correct because earlier in generation 1 we were having big big vacuum tubes because of those tubes the temperature of computer would rise but because of transistors which was introduced in your second generation the computer started to produce less heat they use assembly language yes this is also correct because first generation computer were using what machine language the second generation of computer started to use assembly language second generation started after 1959 now this statement is also correct so if you see the correct answer of this particular question will be option number e so those who have answered and uh, uh, question number 4 as e they are going on the right track now if you remember let's revise how what are the technologies which were used in different different generation tell me what is the first level generation computer were using i hope you will say what vacuum what was the first generation of computer using let me know your answers in chat box what was the first generation of computer using there are five generations of computer please let me know what was the technology which was used by first generation of computer yes vt that is your vacuum tubes you can also remember it like this second generations were using what transistors which we have just now discussed third generation may we have the introduction of your integrated circuits okay yes answer is vacuum tube for the first question in fourth and fifth generation remember the scope of the computer began and the speed of the computer just touched the cl seventh cloud so in fourth generation we started to use something which is called as vlsi and in fifth generation we started to use something which is known as ulsi now i am opening the floor to know the full form of vlsi what is the full form of vlsi vlsi full form i am asking you the full form of vlsi mind you i will discuss all the short forms shortcuts also so you have to be responsive in the chat okay do not become couchy potato i am again repeated vlsi ka full form ic means what integrated circuits ye sabko pata hai okay every even a 12th class student know it fourth generation mein what was the technology fourth generation mein the technology was vlsi what is the full form of vlsi yes very large scale integrated circuits or you can say very large scale integration as well and remember in fifth generation we started to use ultra so here u means what u means ultra large scale uh, ultra scale large integrations okay so you have to remember the full forms as well now if you see just for your revision purpose i have placed this particular picture over here all you need to do is once you are entering into the into the examination hall just see important important things because question can definitely come from such uh, 
easy topics mind you these are the five generations okay which you have to remember okay but if possible remember generation 1 ka time period and generation 5th is already like 1980 onwards okay now uh, my question to you is artificial intelligence artificial intelligence machine uh, machine or i would say uh different different other kinds of high higher techniques mathematical modeling they will fall under which particular generation will they fall under second generation third generation or fifth generation machine can you please let me know artificial genre artificial intelligence or other different types of mathematical models which are used these days for big big problems they will fall under fifth generation yes your answer should be fifth generation like for example chat gpt we all might have used chat gpt right so that is a fifth generation also will uh, with this image you have to remember this image as well which is talking regarding the language now what is machine language low level language i hope you know it it uh, chalo you let me know what is the other name of machine language what is the other name of machine language machine language is also known as what i am not giving you the option because this is very easy question i expect you to answer it okay machine language is also known as what it is low level language that i also know but please let me know what is the other name of machine language what is the other name of machine language machine language ko aur kya bolte hai so i am repeating in english and hindi for you yes it is also known as binary language why because it is a combination of either zeros and one okay so please remember this thing okay now machine language is that language which is directly be understandable to the computer second generation computer was using assembly language third generation of computing computers were using high language okay now uh, fourth generation were using software packages like they were having big big software packages so that they can directly start their operation do let me know whether this particular statement is true and false okay high level language that is your high level language can directly be understandable by the computer high level languages can directly be understandable by the computer yes it is also known as binary language that i have told you okay high level language hll is high level language it can directly be understandable by the computer true or false the answer is false why because you need either an interpreter or a compiler now what is interpreter and compiler i hope you know it if you are converting in high level language into a machine level language then you need interpreter and compiler but if you are converting assembly language to middle level uh, assembly language to low level language then tell me what is the component which you will use for conversion this is my last question then i will move to the next question okay if i am converting assembly language to my machine language then what is the thing which i am using as a i would say middleman or you can say as something which you will call at something which you can call as middleman or something which you call as a component as well if i am converting my assembly language to my machine language please let me know yes it will be assembler so please remember assembler i will just revise it for you because this is really very important because see computer can un only understand what computer can only understand machine language which is your low level language but once i am using assembly language for humans okay if i am using assembly language i will convert um, assembly language to machine level with the help of assembler okay assembler i am sorry for my bad head writing but i am repeating everything two times if i am converting my assembly language to my machine language then i will use assembler but if i am converting high level language to my machine language then i will either use interpreter or compiler okay now what is the difference between interpreter and compiler that i will tell you in future questions abhi ke liye let's move to question number 5 yes the answer was assembler good 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 everyone you are going on a good track Question number five on your screen taken from generations of computer. Now this is very easy. This we have just now understood. So I expect everyone to answer. If you are not answering, then you are doing a big mistake. Right now you can you can just uh, you know test your knowledge. This is the platform for you. But mind you, I am again and again repeating. Solve previous year questions. Okay. If you are not doing that, you are doing one of the greatest sin. i would definitely be very loyal to you if you are not solving previous year questions then you are doing one of the biggest sin or jisko hindi mein paap bhi bolte okay so now answer question number 5 the dash computer placed transistors with the dash computer replaced not re uh, placed transistors with ics it was will be your third generation very good and what was the language which was used in third generation revise with me what was the uh, what was the i would say language which was used in third generation 
लैंग्वेज क्या थी इट विल बी योर हाई लेवल लैंग्वेजेस ओके फोर्थ में याद रख लेना इट इज योर सॉफ्टवेयर लैंग्वेजेस सेकेंड में ऑल यू नीड टू रिमेम्बर इज असेंबली लैंग्वेज फर्स्ट के अंदर अपना मशीन लैंग्वेज सो यही रिवाइज करना है बस और कुछ नहीं ओके सो लेट्स मूव अड टू क्वेश्चन नंबर द आंसर ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन इज ऑप्शन नंबर सी नाउ लेट्स मूव टू क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स ये हाई लेवल लैंग्वेज आई गॉट माई आंसर क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स डैश वॉज द फर्स्ट कमर्शियल एवेलेबल कंप्यूटर इट वॉज मेड बाय अकट मॉचली कंप्यूटर कंपनी इट रिप्रेजेंटेड द बर्थ ऑफ मॉडर्न कंप्यूटर्स नाउ नाउ माई क्वेश्चन इज आस्किंग यू रिगार्डिंग द हिस्ट्री ऑफ कंप्यूटर ओनली रिगार्डिंग जनरेशन ऑफ कंप्यूटर ओनली बट टेल मी विच वॉज द फर्स्ट कमर्शियल एवेलेबल कंप्यूटर राइट नाउ वी आर जस्ट कवरिंग चैप्टर नंबर वन ओके स्लोली एंड स्टेडिली वी विल इंक्रीज आर पेस एंड वी विल मूव टू अदर चैप्टर एज वेल ओके सिक्स डी नीलेश इज गोइंग विथ डी यूनिवैक कांट इट बी एडिसेक और एनैक मैक्सिमम प्रीति एंड अनुजा आर गोइंग विथ सी ओके डी सनी एंड आई एम नॉट टेकिंग यू नो ऑल द नेम्स आई एम जस्ट पिकिंग अप सम रैंडम नेम्स सो डू नॉट ब्लेम मी फॉर सेलेक्टिविज्म ओके येस द राइट आंसर विल बी ऑप्शन नंबर डी यूनिवैक यूनिवैक वॉज द फर्स्ट कमर्शियल एवेलेबल कंप्यूटर कैन समवन लेट वी नो द फुल फॉर्म ऑफ यूनिवैक ओके कैन समवन लेट वी नो द फुल फॉर्म ऑफ यूनिवैक द आंसर इज ऑप्शन नंबर डी ओके सो दोज हु हैव गिवन द आंसर इज डी कुडोज टू देम दे हैव अ गुड नॉलेज बेस रिगार्डिंग हिस्ट्री ऑफ कंप्यूटर्स रिमेंबर वॉट फील लाइक देर आर डिफरेंट डिफरेंट अदर कंप्यूटर्स एज वेल बट आई वुड से इफ यू आर नॉट एबल टू रिमेंबर एनी थिंग जस्ट रिमेंबर द मेजर मेजर थिंग्स ओके कैन यू प्लीज लेट वी नो द फुल फॉर्म ऑफ यूनिवैक विच वॉज द फर्स्ट कमर्शियल एवेलेबल कंप्यूटर एनी वन इन द चैट बॉक्स और शुड आई रिवील द आंसर रिमेंबर दिस इज द जनरेशन और दिस दीज आर द सर्टन टाइप्स ऑफ कंप्यूटर्स ओके इवन इफ यू आर अनेबल टू रिमेंबर आई वुड से मैक्सिमम ऑफ दम जस्ट रिमेंबर रिगार्डिंग यूनिवैक सो यूनिवैक स्टैंड फॉर वॉट यूनिवर्सल ऑटोमेटिक कंप्यूटर एंड माइंड यू कंप्यूटर हैज इट्स ओन मीनिंग आई बाई मिच आई मीन वॉट कंप्यूटर हैज इट्स ओन फुल फॉर्म विच वी हैव डिस्कस मल्टीपल टाइम्स इन माई लेक्चर विच आई एम नॉट रिपीटिंग अगेन येस यूनिवर्सल ऑटोमेटिक कंप्यूटर सो आई कैन सी पीपल हार गिविंग द राइट आंसर दो सो दो जो आर गिविंग द राइट आंसर कुडोज टू दम नाउ इफ यू आर अनेबल टू रिमेंबर एवरीथिंग रिमेंबर रिगार्डिंग यूनिवैक इट इज अगेन वन ऑफ द हाईलाइट्स ऑफ डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ कंप्यूटर विच वॉज इंट्रोड्यूस इन द प्रीवियस पास्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन ऑन योर स्क्रीन नाउ क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन कंसीडर द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट आई माइंड यू आई एम चेकिंग द चैट ओके सो प्लीज बी रिस्पॉन्सिव क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन फर्स्ट इन्वेंटेड कंप्यूटर नाउ दैट इज अ काइंड ऑफ अ वेरी वेक क्वेश्चन ओके नाउ देर आर डिफरेंट डिफरेंट व्यूज ऑन दैट ओके फॉर एग्जाम्पल सम पीपल ऑल्सो कॉल अ बैकस एज एन अ बैकस एज एन कंप्यूटर इन दैट केस योर आंसर विल बी अ बैकस बट इन सर्टेन केसेज यूनिवैक इज कंसिडर्ड एज द बर्थ ऑफ फर्स्ट कमर्शियल कंप्यूटर्स देन यू ऑल्सो हैव मार्क वन विच वॉज इंट्रोड्यूस बाय आई बी एम दैट इज योर इंटरनेशनल बिजनेस मशीन सो देर इज नो वन स्पेसिफिक आंसर विच आई कैन गिव टू प्रीति मौर्या इफ आई एम नॉट रॉन्ग राइट सो देर इज नो स्पेसिफिक answer so you will have to first understand what question is asking then accordingly you will have to answer yes uh, mayank has already written and written the for, uh, full form of computer so mayank is showing that he knows everything which is good you have to show off show off your knowledge sometimes good mayank question number 7 consider the following uh, statements analog computers analog computers are those computers which Uh, which definitely accept certain physical quantities. So, co co statement number one is definitely correct. Analog computers store data continuously in the form of physical quantities and perform calculations. And hybrid computer, as you know, analog plus digital is your hybrid computer. Analog can produce output. For example, you might have seen that thermometer which we used to use in our school days, right? We used to keep it in under our, you know, tongue, and then that particular mercury used to move. So that was again a kind of an analog computer. ECG machines, which are used these days, those are also representing different different graphs of your heart. So here, I think option number E should be the correct answer. Yes, why people were going with C, I don't know, but here the answer is option number E. Let me see who have given answer as E. Yes, maximum of you have given the answer as E. So that is a good thing. Okay, digital computers are nothing; they just understand the language of zeros and one. For example, currently the computer which I am taking my class on, that is a kind of a digital computer also. Okay, now let's come to question number. Uh, these are very very other uh, basic types of question. Like we have your super computer, and I have I have one question. on that so i will discuss about super computer mainframe computer personal computer 
other and different other types of computer later on now let's solve question number 8 now let's solve question number 8 which among the below options is incorrect you have to identify the incorrect thing okay so do not be in haste and do not answer it incorrectly question number 8 on your screen now which among the uh, below options is incorrect you have to tell me which of the following option is incorrect which among the following option is incorrect now this is taken from your computer organization computer organization means what that how your computer layout is defined first input will come in the form of data it will go in storage storage will be connected to cpu and then your cpu will send back it to storage and then particular storage will be giving out as an output so question number eight which of the following is incorrect the input unit uh, let me see my arrow the input unit is used for giving instruction by and data by using input devices this statement is very much correct I see can see it uh, CPUs have been constructed on single integrated circuit called microprocessors this uh, maximum people are again not having a I would say unas unanimous answer Th this particular statement is also correct according to me because it is not written that all CPUs are constructed CPUs are constructed on single IC this is correct control unit now if you know what is CPU then only you can answer it CPU stands for what central processing unit it is known as your heart of man uh, heart of computer if you have a heart then what it is it is your cpu cpu is known as the heart of computer mind you cpu has two very very important components they are your control units cu and your alu so these are like babies of cpu okay cu remember this term you will remember what is the function of cu cu is the manager of i would say computer you can say okay cu is cu that is your control unit is the manager and what is alu alu is a kind of a mathematical manager okay so it is a kind of what mathematical manager cu stands for what control unit it is that particular component which will manage different different functions of the computer okay so that's why it is the manager what is manager manager is the fun uh, function who will get the work done from others in the same manner cu will do the work from others what is alu alu is that particular component which will do all the mathematical related work like 2 2 are 2 plus 2 3 into 2 4 to the power of 6 that will be done by alu okay that is why alu is known as the arithmetical brain of the computer so remember these key key term cpu is the overall heart okay heart okay heart of the computer and then you have your cu and then you have your alu alu is done for mathematical thing cu is the manager okay alu ko hum log um, arithmetical mind bhi bolte hai computer ka i hope it is very much clear to you now if you see statement number c Control unit is the component of the CPU that directs operation of the computer processor. This is also correct. ALU can perform arithmetic and logical operations. So if you see option A, B, D, uh, A, B, C, D are correct. So answer should be option number what? E. CPU consists of control unit, ALU and memory. Can I uh, say that CPU has memory? The answer is no. CPU is connected to memory. That is something different. But is there anything which is memory in CPU? The answer is no. Therefore, answer will be option number E because option number E is incorrect. I hope you understand with me. Okay. Theke? Yes. Brain, heart. Please remember what is the heart. Heart is your CPU. Okay. This you have to remember. Okay. Do not say that motherboard is the heart of, I would say, computer. That statement is completely incorrect. Arithmetical brain of computer is what? Arithmetical jahan lag gaya, usme aapko ALU ko leke aana hai. As simple as that. Question number 9. Question number 9 on your screen. So, I can see that on question number 8, maximum people were not able to give the right answer. No issues. But try to answer question number 9 now. Question number 9. Consider the following statements in the context of storage unit. Ab now people will leave my class because I am increasing the level. This has been, yes, tomorrow decision making marathon is there. So if you have to again test your knowledge on decision making, same class 6 p.m. will be taken by me only. Okay, so you can come over there as well. Which Consider the, but come prepared. Okay, do not just come like, you know. Uh, I would say like kuch bhi nahi aata ho kind of thing you have to come thoda sa prepare I will just add knowledge to your different different other points like what I am doing right now consider the following statement in the context of storage unit now if you know there are mainly mainly I am taking talking regarding storage storage can be divided into two things that is your primary and secondary primary is the main storage okay main yani sare ke sara main storage yahi aayega 
then you have your secondary storage secondary means what something which is extra which is something added to your knowledge or something which is added to the memory of computer okay on that context question number 9 mind you here you have to identify the correct okay now this is again 2x level of nabad if you are able to solve this then you can definitely do good in nabad as well question number 9 9th d okay ios is saying it's e aryan is going with e us uh, all are correct yes let me see the statement primary memory is volatile yes it is volatile because once you lose the power of computer it will say bye bye to the computer so remember things thing primary memory is very volatile volatile means what that it is something which will lose the memory after the power goes off as simple as that secondary memory is non volatile so it will retain the data so these are the important important differences which you will have to mug it up if you don't know how it is then mug it up because you have to clear this yam okay but you cannot mug up each and everything okay but let's see primary memory is volatile this statement is correct secondary memory is non volatile this statement is also correct secondary memory is used to hold stored program instructions and large volume of information you might have hard disk you might have different different floppy disk in the old zamana you might have cds you might have dvds all those are what your secondary storage so you can definitely add certain type of what data in it primary memory is used to hold running programs this is also correct primary memory or you can say primary storage they are further divided into ram and rom now what is ram and rom that i will tell you later but ram and rom are one of the most important components of your computer okay so yes statement number d is also correct therefore the answer of this question will be option number e so those who have given the answer as option e kudos to them they are going on the right track yes okay now this explanation you can read it once you get the pdf okay but i will recommend you to read it only once you have the revision time okay question number 10 on your screen now nilesh is asking primary can be yes nilesh i agree with you but when it comes to the journal sense primary memory you have to remember it that it is non it is something which is volatile because see when you are talking regarding ram and rom i understand that sometimes people say that uh, primary can be volatile and non volatile but in the theoretical concept or if even if you read any standard textbook you will find that primary memory is something which is volatile okay when once you you know you bifurcate it in ram and rom then you will find the difference but otherwise the journal statement says this only that it is volatile in nature okay so please remember this question number 10 Question number ten. Dash accepts the results produced by CPU and convert these into coded results to human acceptable form. Human acceptable form means what? That I can understand it. Very easy question. It presents a soft and hard copy of the information which can be readable by the users. The answer will be what? Output unit. Very good, my friends. I was expecting the right answer over here. You have given me input unit. Remember, it is the unit which will accept data. Okay. What will be the uh, end result of output unit? It will be information which is understandable to us. Okay. Primary memory. I I will have more discussion about it. Like RAM and ROM. Control unit. I have already told you. He is the manager of the computer. As simple as that. Okay. Now, on that note, we have completed ten questions. We all we have to go to a larger distance as well. So let's move to question number eleven. Which computers are used? Now, this is talking regarding types of computer. Which computers are used for solving complex applications such as global weather forecasting? Can you let me know the name of that particular computer which will help you? to solve certain very very big problems like global weather forecasting and it is also used in some mathematical domain what will be your answer for question number 11 question number 11 on your screen question number 11 i am checking the chat box 11 people are saying super computers all these questions mind you they are based on your previous year questions only okay hybrid computers hybrid computer is not the correct answer hybrid computers ke liye the keyword will be analog plus digital which we have already discussed what are embedded computers embedded computers are those kind of computers which are hidden somewhere in the main device for example if you have these smart watches smart watches are a epitome of your embedded computers why because in these smart watches there are certain computers which are already hidden and they will let you know that which how many steps you have walked in a day what is your overall body temperature 
टेम्परेचर वॉट इज द हार्ट रेट सो एन एंड सो फोर्थ ओके मेन फ्रेम कंप्यूटर्स मेन फ्रेम कंप्यूटर्स आर यूज फॉर योर स्टोरेज स्टोरेज एंड दैट टू बिग अमाउंट ऑफ स्टोरेज बिग अमाउंट मीन्स वॉट दैट सर्टन लाइक सर्टन कंपनीज लाइक गूगल एमेजॉन दोज आर यू नो मल्टी नेशनल कंपनीज दे विल बी स्टोरिंग द डाटा ऑफ पीपल दे हैव सो दे विल बी डूइंग इन योर मेन फ्रेम कंप्यूटर्स ओके देन यू हैव योर सुपर कंप्यूटर्स सुपर कंप्यूटर्स आर दोज कंप्यूटर्स विच विल डू लाइक मैक्सिमम ऑफ द कैलकुलेशन दे कैन हैंडल बिलियंस ऑफ द कैलकुलेशन इन वन सिंगल डे दे आर फॉर द आंसर ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर क्वेश्चन विल बी ऑप्शन नंबर ए ओनली टेल मी दैट पर्टिकुलर टाइप ऑफ कंप्यूटर which will still use for storage but that will be used for some small companies okay mainframe computers i agree they will be using for storage but they are used by used by some big companies tell me the name of that particular computer which you will use for storage purpose only but it will be used i would say for for small companies can you let me know the name of that particular computer for example if we talk regarding our edutap only now edutap cannot afford mainframe computer okay because we do not have that much capacities to involve mainframe what kind of computer we can have please let me know the name of that particular computer do you let me know hybrid uh hybrid no no the answer is not given over here you will have to invent it i will be waiting for the right answers option number a was the correct answer of that particular question right question number 12 mini main mini frame <laughs> chalo question number 12 now <laughs> people are answering very different questions grid computer servers mini work stations पर्सनल कंप्यूटर्स चलो आंसर क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेल्व आई विल लेट यू नो फर्स्ट आंसर क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेल्व मेन फ्रेम कंप्यूटर इज फॉर स्टोरेज फॉर बिग कंपनीज रिमेंबर इट डू नॉट गो रॉन्ग विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज नॉट अ बेसिक फंक्शन नॉट अ बेसिक फंक्शन मीन्स वॉट दट ईच एंड एवरी कंप्यूटर विल परफॉर्म सर्टन वेरी रेगुलर टाइप ऑफ फंक्शन बट विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज नॉट द वन ऑफ द बेसिक फंक्शन दिस इज आस्ट द क्वेश्चन विल बी yes copy text remember there are five basic functions which each and every computer will do for you it is inputting accepting your data storing means what that it will store your data processing means what that it will process your data like manipulation doing plus minus so on and so thing outputting means what that it will show you the output and controlling controlling means what that it will manage different different other operations therefore the answer of this particular question was option number a Com copy text again it is not the one of the basic function basic functions are these five only okay mind you in certain questions of i would say other exams they have asked this question regarding information what are the basic five steps of computer in two very important years so you have to do it because nabard can also ask you question number 13 question number 13 question number 13 on your screen now consider the following options and after you, it you have to identify the incorrect statement this is again like a multiple i would say statement based question chaliye question number 13 question number 13 let me just have a sip of water as well question number 13 information consists of raw facts and figures information now this statement itself is incorrect so i do not even have to read each and everything okay but still information is organized this is correct now what will come over here if you let me know information ki jagah what will come fifth statement is also correct data processing is transformation data collection is taking the data fifth generation were using ulsi this was also correct now i would say this is a level i would say we have uh, devised yes a should be data very good samya good question number 13 the answer was a now we are coming to question number 14 remember short forms and shortcuts short forms and shortcuts they are very very important inse bhi agar aap kar loge to you will definitely get 2 to 3 marks even i don't know when will admit cards come but all i know is 16th october is the day you all need to focus on 16th october admit cards will definitely come okay so do not get into that confusion question number 14 the correct abbreviation of gigo is yes 
it is your garbage in and garbage out now if you are giving garbage to computer if you are not giving clear i would say uh, instructions to computer then computer will definitely say that go back and give me the correct instructions so that is what the full form of gigo is now mind you my friend we have to solve certain more i would say what uh, i would say what form uh, you can say short forms okay first tell me what is the short form for ftp now if you see these all are your individual questions only what is the short form for or what is the full form of ftp i will give you one hint it is a kind of a protocol can you please let me know what is the full form of ftp again all these i would give preference to tev hof okay alan tuning is for i would as i have told you it, he is the father of modern computers so please understand the question and then apply your knowledge okay sometimes i would say extra knowledge can backfire sometimes not every time sometimes yeah let yet yet it is file transfer protocol cad what is cad it is not your current account deficit cad full form is what ftp to chalo i can understand this is one of the easiest form uh, easiest thing uh, now tell me what is cad is it current account deficit the answer is no it is your computer aided design use somewhere in your joystick okay now www i think everyone knows this it is world wide web pdf what is the full form of pdf be fast guys what is the full form of pdf now i am looking for the answer of pdf i am not looking for the answers of leds right now i am looking for the answers of pdf yes type in your answer so that you can definitely memorize it okay full form of pdf right now i am asking uh, asking the question of pdf world wide web everyone knows it a uh, portable document format very good i would say jaya lakshmi he she has given me the right answer because people were earlier going with leds oled please wait for the question to come leds is what light emitting diode okay light emitting diode OLED is nothing organic light emitting diode. Last year, if I'm not wrong, they have asked questions regarding LED and OLED. Please remember this. BIOS. BIOS is very basic. Can you let me know the full form of BIOS? I am not waiting for much. It is basic input, output, and system. It is used for restarting your computer. It is also known as booting. Booting means what? That you are starting your computer. Yes. PDF is what? Portable document format. CC and BCC. Now type in your answers for this particular short form. That is your CC and BCC. CC and BCC. Yes. LED. Everyone knows. I know it. CC and BCC. That is your. That is used in your emails. Okay. What is the full? Uh, what is the full forms of CC and BCC? Yes, Mohit. It is carbon copy for CC. CC stands for what? Carbon copy. What is BCC? blind carbon copy okay so cc remains the same you just have to add blind now tell me what is the full form of tft yes growth it is basic input output system yes blah. good 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 everyone is answering correctly tell me what is the full form of tft tft is generally used in you know uh, flat screens please let me know the full form of tft and after that you have to let me know the full form of api as well Okay, now there are various full forms like HTML, hypertext markup language. Uh, there are different, different other uh, protocols as well, like IPs, internet protocols. So all basic uh, full forms has to be done. Chalo, thin film transistors. Very good, Abhi Jeet, right? Yes, thin film transistors. And last, I am asking you the full form of API. API. Now this is something related to your financial technology as well. Yes, TFT is thin film transistors. I agree. TFT is thin film transistors. आगे बढ़ो थोड़ा. Application programming interface और programming को program भी लिख सकते हैं. Okay, so both things means the same. Email. Email stands for what? Electronic mail. Okay. Electronic mail here means what? That you are sending a mail with the help of internet. Okay. So the answer of previous question was option E. But we have solved certain very important other questions as well. HTML, hypertext markup language. So remember these basic, basic. I would say uh, full forms because definitely you will be test tested in your exam. More we will do, more we will do in the later part of this class. Question number fifteen now. Yes, Herschel, uh, basic input output, carbon copy, blind carbon copy, thin film transistor, application perfect. All is good. Okay.
computer full form mouse full form that we have discussed in many times in our previous classes in previous year questions too so you can do that from that i am not repeating them again yes email is electronic mail chalo question number 15 mind you they can also ask you the full forms of like atm automatic teller machine they can ask you the full form of pan uh, if i am not wrong right they can also ask different different full forms so that you have to remember cvv which is there in your plastic cards card verification value ओके चलो क्वेश्चन नंबर 15 कंप्यूटर्स मैनिपुलेट डाटा इन मेनी वेज दिस मैनिपुलेशन इज नोन एज नथिंग इट इज नोन एज योर व्हाट प्रोसेसिंग एज सिंपल एज दैट ओके प्रोसेसिंग रिमेंबर इट इज वन ऑफ द बेसिक फंक्शन नाउ यू विल डेफिनेटली गेट यू विल डेफिनेटली गेट सर्टेन टाइप्स ऑफ क्वेश्चंस इन योर एग्जाम एज वेल सर्टेन वेरी इजी क्वेश्चंस विल बी देयर सो प्लीज अटेम्प्ट देम डू नॉट लीव देम एट एनी कॉस्ट ओके सो नाउ लेट्स मूव टू क्वेश्चन नंबर 16 Yes, PAN. That is your personal area network. Then we have your WAN, wide area network, MAN, metropolitan area network. That we will discuss in the chapter of network. Okay. In the field of computer, which of the following controls the machine cycle? This we have already discussed. All you need to answer is this. What is the answer for question number sixteen? Why people are going with arithmetic unit? How arithmetic unit is the correct answer? acha you are answering for the previous question i think there is some lag which is going on i think yes which controls control means what manages therefore the answer will be control unit mind you cpu and something like very famous concept cpus and you have your memory like ram and rom us pe pakka question aane wala hai even if you see the previous year question mind you out of 20 15 questions will be like that you have seen them somewhere five will be like something like i could say like you can know it if you have covered computers in like in your graduation or your in your school days but 15 questions will be somewhere like that you can easily attempt them if you uh, remain in a state of i would say calmness do not go panic okay so therefore the answer of question number 16 is a now let's move to question number 17 What is the primary characteristic of multiprocessing? As the name suggests, multiprocessing. So, what is the meaning of multiprocessing? Now, this is a level of nabar. This is a journal question. I would say, even a student who no, do not have any knowledge regarding computer, he can attempt it, or she can attempt it. Question number seven. What is the primary characteristic of multiprocessing? Multiprocessing means what? Sometimes we also say that you have to be multi, you know, multi-working or something kind of that. Question number seventeen. What is the primary characteristics? It relies on the single CPU for all the operations. It is rarely used in computing devices. It divides task between multiple CPUs to increase efficiency. Okay. The primary focus on reducing. Now this is this option D cannot be your right answer. So those who will say option D, I will definitely be angry on you. Okay. Therefore the answer will be option number C. Yes, C is the correct answer. It divides the task between multiple C CPUs to increase the efficiency. What is multiprocessing? That you are handling on the one side, you are making your Word document. At the same time, you are doing certain other works as well. At the same time, you are also opening different different other kind of videos. So that is what you are increasing the speed of the computer. You are increasing the performing of the computer. So therefore, the correct answer. Let me check. Many people are saying it's A. The answer is C only over here. Do not say it as A. it relies on single cpu for all operations that is completely vague because in multi processing you will definitely increase the speed that is the key term over here okay mayank is also going with c question number 18 now now let's solve question number 18 now this is 1.5 times the level of i would say nabard okay if you are able to solve this then kudos to you question number 18 dash makes the use of cpu more than one cpu the task or sets of operation are divided between cpus available simultaneously thus increasing the efficiency and through output now i think i have just have repeated the question the answer will be here multi processing only now this is what i would say uh, repetition of question was that is totally i would say uh, two ways to represent one question now here let's discuss certain more things manual processing means what that you are having a human intervention as simple as that for example if you go in a bank there is no note accounting machine a cash a cashier is sitter cashier a cashier is sitting over there to count the notes so that is what you can say manual processing is all about real time processing means what real time processing means what that it is happening hand to hand for example if you have seen our upi 
what is upi full form please let me know if you see upi payments so that is happening real time once you send in the once you press that green button of send the next moment the amount is getting transferred to the other person another kind of a real processing system is your imps these are your payment system unified payment interface immediate payment service so these are nothing these are your real time processing kind of activities okay then you have your batch processing batch processing means what that first i will collect different different files and then i will execute them for example if you have heard about national electronic fund transfer neft so neft happens after every 30 minutes why because it is a kind of a batch in every 30 minutes different different payments are collected and then they are executed at the same time okay so this you have to remember yes upi is unified payment interface imps is your immediate payment service neft is your elect national e electronic fund transfer okay therefore your answer of question number 18 will be multi processing as simple as that okay now question number 19 uh, let me read the chat box Yes, RSF, your doubt should be yes as per my basic knowledge. Okay. Uh, Mohit, I am unable to understand is multiprocessing at GIN computing. I am unable to understand the doubt of posted by Mohit, but as uh, the doubt which is posted by RSF is processor like Intel, Intel Core is a part of CPU or is it called CPU? In general language, that is a part of CPU only. Okay. Now, question number 19, how many phases are there under CPU instruction cycle? Mind you, currently we are on chapter 2 only. We are understanding the organization of computer. What is the organization of computer? That input will come from so and so person. There will be storage. This storage will be connected to some CPUs. Or you can say CPU has two parts, as I have already told you, right? CU and ALU. And after processing, computer will give what? Out information, which is your output. Okay. So now he uh, the question is asking how many phases are there under CPU? How CPU will process the information? How CPU yes, multiprocessing will increase this increase the speed only if you are handling the computer in a very good manner okay or if you have multi-core processor like these days we have octa core it means what there are eight different types of processors which are working in your computer okay but octa core those kind of things are like you know they are for people who are doing good things in the field of computer they have multiple things okay how many phases are there in the computer instruction cycle the answer here will be four okay so those who have given the answer is four again good Cloud computing. Let me take the doubt of uh, Preeti. Cloud computing is nothing. If you remember, there is OneDrive. OneDrive is a product of Microsoft, if I'm not wrong. Then there is Google Drive. Google Drive is a product of Google, right? So if you want to store your data in some online space, for example, in my phone, currently I have, my phone has a capacity of just 256 GB. What will happen after 256 GB? I will have to shift my data to some online platform like OneDrive or to some Google Drive as well. Okay. Now let's come to question number 19. So these are, this is your instruction cycle. Instruction cycle is largely related to your CPU only. How will CPU refer different, different things? It will happen via four different ways. Okay. Once the data enters into a CPU, CPU will definitely perform four basic functions. So you can say these are your four basic functions of what CPU mind you in earlier question we have discussed like storing of data inputting outputting controlling that were the basic functions of an entire computer right now i am asking you the basic functions of cpu cpu will first fetch the information or i would say fetch the data rather because they will collect the unorganized data then it will decode it why decode it because computer can only understand machine language right so there will be some software like it can be assembler or it can be, I would say, a compiler or an interpreter, depending upon the language. Then CPU will start the, uh, I would say, what, real functioning. If it is a kind of a mathematical work, it will be done by our a ALU. If it is other kind of work, that will be done by your CU. And after this, CU will, uh, after this CPU will store the data. For example, if you have seen certain, certain times, uh, if you are working in your MS Word, uh, computer will definitely ask you whether you want to save it or not. So if you press save, then definitely your file will be saved. And if you do not press save, then data bye-bye to the file, we will not be able to see it. As simple as that. Question number B. Question number 20. 
the answer of this particular answer was question number b because there are four stages and there are four phases of your instruction cycle cool question number 20 on your screen the circuits that include cpu and memory chips is located on what now this is again an easy question i would say question number 20 question number 20 Question number 20. The circuits that include CPU and memory chips. Guys, please be fast. Okay. You have to answer the question, I would say, under 15 seconds only. If you are not getting the answer in 15 seconds in the exam as well, then I will suggest you to move on to the next one. Yes, the right answer will be motherboard. Motherboard is in hardware. Remember, motherboard is like a very peculiar or I would say very uh, technical device. Okay, there are different different slots. There are different different spaces for other kinds of things as well. Remember, now let you only let me know uh, if any communication has to happen from point A to point B on motherboard. It will happen via which particular thing? If any communication has to happen. If any communication has to happen on the motherboard from point A to point B, from point B to point C, it will happen via which particular component? I am not giving you the answer, uh, options. Please let me know your answers. IC chips. Can, uh, how many of you will give me the right answer? If on motherboard, this is your motherboard, remember. Okay. If any communication has to be done. Okay. If any communication has to be done. It will happen via bus. Very good. Uh, the name of Ravi, Shriya and Rosa. It will happen via bus. So what is a bus? Bus are the kind of what? These are your, I would say, components on your motherboard, which will allow two different components or motherboard to connect. And this is how they will communicate. Yes, the answer will be bus. Good. Question number 21 on your screen right now. Question number 21. Question number 21. Question number 21. Which keyboard key is primarily used to change the input mode of a group of keys and capitalize all the letters? Very easy question this is because this we use in our daily language as well. Question number 21. Question number 21 on your screen right now. Chalo. Maximum people are going with caps lock. Yes. Now, this is a very easy question. I would say, if this then it is a really a wake-up call for all of you. Okay. But tell me, caps lock is a Tugal key or is it a modifier key? This is a good question, I would say. Is caps lock a Tugal key or is it a modifier key? Is caps lock a Tugal key or is it a modifier key? Capitalize all the letters is asked. Okay, therefore the answer will be caps lock only. Shift ko you have to press it separately and then you have to press the other other letter. It will not capitalize all the letters at the same time. Yes, very good Akash. It is a kind of a Tugal key. Remember, there are three Tugal keys in journal computer. You have caps locks, you have your num lock and then you also have your scroll lock. Is shift an example of Tugal key? The answer is no. Shift is an example of which type of key on keyboard? Multi-dollar question. Let me see who answers it correctly. Is I would my question is and allow me to just charge my laptop because I have to take my class as well. Okay, so I'm just charging it. Sorry. Okay, certain things are you know unpredictable. Yes. So please let me know and please let me know guys whether my so uh, whether my sound is going good or not because I am having some construction going near me. But I think I have done Tugal key. So. Uh, Mayank is asking Tugal key. Tugal keys are those keys which will entirely change your keyboard functioning. For example, if you have your caps lock, once you press your cap locks, your all the letters will appear in your uppercase. You have your num lock. Num lock, if you press it, all the number side which is there on the right side will definitely start. Okay, it will start operating. If you press, uh, if you uh, if you press num lock twice, that your num lock will be not be able to work. You will not be able to uh, accept numbers from the right right uh, from the right hand side of your computer. Okay. And if you see scroll lock, scroll lock is used to, you know, scrolling up a document. Shift key is a type of what? 
शिफ्ट की येस जितेंद्र एंड निधि दे हैव गिवन द राइट आंसर एंड अदर ऑल्सो इट इज अ काइंड ऑफ मॉडिफायर की नाउ इफ यू रिमेंबर मॉडिफायर कीज आर ऑल्सो सर्टेन टाइप्स लाइक वी हैव योर कंट्रोल वी ऑल्सो हैव योर ऑल्ट सो मॉडिफायर की इज वॉट दैट इफ यू प्रेस अ मॉडिफायर की अलॉन्ग विद सर्टेन अदर कीज देन ओनली देयर फंक्शन विल बी देयर अदरवाइज दे डू नॉट परफॉर्म एनी गुड फंक्शन ओके yes and remember how many function keys are there 12 function keys now each and every function key definitely you have to remember certain important keys okay like function keys mein if you press f1 then definitely help will come like these are the function keys they will perform certain very specific functions so please remember these are your very important for, uh, i would say top five function keys along with it you also have to remember the function of f11 now my billion dollar question is f11 karta kya hai as simple as that what is the function of f11 key f1 is help f2 is rename ye sabko pata hai right ye sabko pata hona chahiye that f2 is rename f3 is search f4 is about addressing bar list and f5 to it's, it's like world famous which is refresh my question to you is what is the function what is the function of f11 f11 ka kya function hai just let me know your answers f11 ka kya function hoga F11. I am check. Yes, very good. Uh, I do not know your real name. IUS like something is right. Uh, the name is IUS Mobile Gaming. It is used for full screen. And why I remember this because in my student days, when we are giving you know mock or something, then we used to press F11 so that the mock screen can come on the full screen. So please remember, it is generally used for full screen. Very good, uh, Manisha as well and Mayank as well. Okay, the answer of that question will be option B that we have discussed. Now let's start with question number twenty-two. Now this we have already discussed, so I expect all the right answers for question number twenty-two. and please let me know whether my voice is going good right no one has answered this toggle key i have explained toggle key will change the function of entire keyboard as simple as that num lock uh, i would say caps lock and your scroll lock question number 22 question number 22 question number 22 Dash is used to change input mode of group of keys, caps lock, num locks, and scroll locks. These are your toggle keys. Very easy. Let's not waste our time. Let's move ahead to question number twenty-three. Question number twenty-three now. अच्छा. Cool. चलो. Question number. Voice quality is great. Good. Question number twenty-three. Consider the following tables in the context of mouse. Also remember, mouse is one of the famous input devices. Okay. Now we are moving to chapter three, which is related to your hardware. Okay. So we have covered basics of computer, computer organization. Now we are moving to hardware. Remember, there are three categories of hardware which you have to cover. First is input. Then you have your output. Okay. And then you have your very famous motherboard. Okay. So please remember, mother M O M O M O B O. ठीक है अच्छा जस्ट लेट मी गिव मी सिंग प्लीज अटेम्प दिस क्वेश्चन बाय देन आई विल जस्ट करेक्ट माय स्पेलिंग्स ओके मदरबोर्ड इज एक्रोनिम डैस मोबो एंड दिस आई लर्न इन माय लाइफ क्लासेस व्हिच इज गोइंग इन माय कोर्स ओके व्हेन स्टूडेंट राइट मदरबोर्ड एज एम ओ बी ओ डी इज इनकरेक्टली मैच्ड ओके लेट मी सी व्हिच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज करेक्टली द क्वेश्चन सेज ये सीरियल नंबर एंड फंक्शन mouse is a pointing and cursor this is correct a mouse has two or three buttons this definitely if there is a old zamana ka mouse they can have two more buttons but if there is a new zamana that is your new age mouse then it can have a scroll as well that is your middle button it is an output device this is horribly wrong so therefore incorrectly was asked yes the answer will be option number d because one and two are correct but statement 3 is incorrect because mouse is an input device Yes, mouse is also a pointing device. You can also say that. Okay, uh, uh, along with mouse, you also see this touch screen, right? Touch screen is also a uh, kind of pointing device only. Now tell me, is scanner? Scanner is an input device or an output device? Scanner. Scanner is an input device or an output device? Scanner is an input device or an output device? Scanner. Scanner is an input or output? Please let me know your answer. will you say scanner is a uh, akash uh, there are different different types of mouse but in the journal sense again like in my office there is a guy who uses 10 button mouse as well so that we are not concerned about journal mouse looking this like two or three button only yes scanner is an input device but when i say printer 
when i say printer printer is an output device okay so please remember this thing this is also very very important good chalo question number uh, answer was d 24 now all the explanation can be read by you once you get the pdf okay i am not reading the explanation because it will just make the uh, uh, just make the class monotonous question number 24 i am seeing your chat as well monitor can someone answer the doubt which is asked by monitor uh which is asked by gotham sorry monitor monitor he means that he means lcd leds or you can say oleds monitor is an input or output you only answer it this is very basic question monitor is an example of what monitor is an example of outputs please remember this you see anything from the monitor right so that is why printer output yes dinesh monitor output yes uh madhu mita if i am taking your name correctly okay question number 24 dash is a character recognition which uh, special link in character it is used yes the answer is micr but tell me the full forms of all these things cad we have discussed what is the full form of ocr repeat with me i am not waiting for much of your time okay ocr is optical character recognition optical character recognition micr is what magnetic ink a uh, character recognition magnetic ink character recognition omr is what optical mark recognition here c is character here m is what mark so remember these basic basic full forms okay gotham if monitor is not a uh, monitor is not a touch screen kind of thing then it will be considered as an output only so please understand the question or even you have to make your questions in a better manner okay or uh, if it is given that there is a monitor with an input if, if it is a monitor with touch screen or if it is a given that it is a modern age monitor then you can say that it is input and output but when you ask a journal student even if you go and see the different different textbooks be it lucent be it ariant you will find monitor as an output only please do not get your confused OCR optical character recognition for example if you have to copy a book you will have a pen kind of thing via which you can copy different different lines from the book and you can make your own pdf in the computer format okay yes all the full forms we have discussed here the answer is option number b because micr now tell me chalo i will ask you one question micr code ki length kitni hoti hai let me see how many banking aspirants are sitting over here ocr and omr OCR is about character recognition. For example, if this is a book, I want to refer to each and every what line of this particular book. I want to make a PDF of this particular book. I will copy all the characters with the help of OCR. OMR is regarding mark. For example, if you have appeared in any Olympiad or something, you might have been filling this particular OMR sheet. OMR sheet is what that you have to fill certain you know marks. For example, the answer of question number A is option number one. The ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh, Question number B. The answer is option number two. So optical mark will identify that particular mark which you have selected on the screen. Character is like by line by line. Everything will be there. Yes, very good. It is a nine-digit code. I was not expecting the right answer, but chalo, very good. Question number twenty-five. Which of the following group consists only input device? Now this is based on your previous year question only. Question number twenty-five. Okay, I am increasing the speed thoda, so you have to be. Yes, used in UPSC prelims as well. Chal, OMR is optical mark recognition. I have repeated it multiple times. Question number twenty-five. Which of the following is only input? So you will have to select that particular option which only shows you input. Um, monitor again for Gotham. Again, I am repeating for you. It is output only. So this is not your answer. Mouse, keyboard, and printer. Printer again is a kind of an output. Plotter. Now, what is the difference between printer and plotter? Printer you will use. printer uh, printer you will use for your daily functioning for example if i have to get the pdf and i have to get the print out of that particular pdf i will be using what printer what is plotter plotter is an output device only but plotter i will use for big big pictures for example if i have to uh, print if i have to print a banner of pm modi for his election campaign then i cannot use printer right i will have to use plotter so plotter is a kind of a big machine which prints big big kinds of graphics okay printer it's like a home school kind of thing wherein you can print different different documents right cool now uh, option c is also incorrect because plotter is a kind of a output only therefore you see the answer will be option number d cool 
yes uh, ravi is giving good flex banners okay for example these are the big big banners which we have to print that will come with the help of plotters only okay so answer was option number d question number 26 question number 26 which type of printer is a non impact printer the first is this non impact so there are two types of printer i hope you know it impact and non impact okay impact and non impact uh, this is i impact and non impact so chalo try to answer this yes map printing is also on plotter this is also correct but map printing not of that one page map it is a big map which shows entire continents and something like that 26 dot matrix dot matrix is a kind of an impact how it will be the answer the question is regarding non impact uh now nilesh is going with b okay other people remember dot matrix and your line printer they are your impact impact means what that they will print they will print your data with the help of some physical impact which will happen with the printing sheet so dot matrix and your line printer cannot be your answer line printer ko if i am not wrong bar printer bhi bolte hai b a r printer okay here the answer will be option number b okay if i just revise it for you impact printer kaun se hoge maine aapko bata diya dot matrix and line dot matrix just means what that they will print what different different small small kinds of dot isko measure karne ke liye if i am not wrong we have a speed also that is uh, uh, C, cps if i am not wrong that is character per second but isko check kar lena ek bar okay i am not that much sure but my rough memory serves me well then it is work worked via cps only okay then we have your laser and inject and then we have your line line is something which will print something like this but this is something which will happen with an impact so i again repeat option a and d they are your impact printer they will do an impact with the printing sheet but when it comes to what uh, i would say what i would say non impact then majorly you have what laser and inject the major difference between laser and inject is regarding their sheet which they are using laser printer will definitely use a dry kind of sheet but inject printer will use a sheet which is already having some wet ink so that higher resolution picture can be done okay cps is used if i am not wrong dpi is used for uh, dots per inches that is used for inject please check this thing i i am not serving the right memory over here but uh, yes this is right uh, rightly written over here right resolution of laser is measured in dots per inches now i am 100% sure dpi is used in your laser printers mind you yahan pe cps used hota hai character per second kiske andar dot matrix ke andar okay yes thank you ravi for confirming it okay sometimes it happens right uh, we are not god we also forgot something but theek hai i was having something in my memory so i just told you and if i have not told you if that thing appears in my exam then definitely i am not doing my teacher uh, teacher's duty but i have to do it so that's why i told told you that okay the individual dots that form the image now this is one of the easiest question sorry 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 what is happening just a second guys i think something uh some software crunch happened now yes question number 27 sorry question number 27 yes uh, rosa is now going on the right track pixels yes the correct answer will be pixel i'm sorry for that blunder okay the answer will be pixel the higher the pixels higher will be your what higher will be your what i would say picture quality as simple as that okay and also please let me know if i am measuring the length of monitor i will measure it via which angle breadth length will be measured via which particular angle and also yes yes now next question guys you are answering pixel pixel acha hai but if i have to measure the length of my monitor that it is a 16 inch monitor or is it a 17 inch monitor then i will do with the help of which particular angle can you please let me know yes very good uh, Uh, funny name bharat ki economics okay it is your diagonal okay and what is the refresh rate of monitor if i have to measure the refresh rate of monitor refresh rate of monitor will be measured in which particular unit refresh rate of monitor refresh rate of monitor will be measured with which particular unit i am waiting for your right answers yes pallavi it is hertz okay he R T Z good yes or you can also say H Z as well okay now let's move to question number twenty eight chalo now we are asking you regarding motherboard now this is the two x level of nabard okay so if you are able to answer it you are on the right track 
which component of motherboard is responsible for storing BIOS? BIOS is what? Basic input output system. Mind you, BIOS is the first thing. It is a kind of a software only, a system software, which I will explain you what is system, what is application and what are program software that I will explain you later. But BIOS is the first software which will get start once you are restarting your system or when you are starting your system. So BIOS is very important component of your computer. Refresh New Zealand. What is this New Zealand? I am not sure about. But question number 28. Which component of motherboard is responsible for storing BIOS such as time, data and hardware configuration? Also, by the time I have to ask one more question. Chalo, I will ask you later. CPU slot, RAM slot, CMOS battery, expansion slot or none? Yes, the answer will be CMOS battery. Now, if you see, there are multiple slots which are there on your motherboard. <coughs> Sorry, okay. Motherboard is not a small place, my friend. It's like a place of VIPs. Motherboard is like the Rashtrapati Bhavan of computer. In this particular place, multiple people will be living on. The first will be CPU slot. CPU will be present where? In this particular slot, you will have your CPU, which is the heart of computer, okay? Then you have your RAM slot. Now, RAM and ROM, pay, we will have a discussion later. But on RAM slot, you will have what? RAM of the computer. RAM is a kind of a primary memory. Remember this. Then you have your CMS battery. Now, what is the full form of CMS? Complementary metal oxide semiconductor battery. This particular battery will be responsible for what? It will have storage or it will stores essential of BIOS, time and data and it will also have it will also have an hardware configuration so as to how hardware will operate. What is hardware like keyboard, mouse, all these are hardware. And then you have your expansion slot as well. Expansion slot means what that if you want to expand certain things in your motherboard like some people do it right so this is what's the answer now my question to you was that for example if this is my computer okay i have connected certain different different types of hardwares this is my keyboard this is my mouse over here which is connected my keyboard is also connected my speakers is also connected collectively all these terms that is my speaker uh, mouse keyboard will be called as what i'm framing one question okay this is an application based question if this is my computer, okay, and I, if I have my mouse over here, keyboard, speakers, mind you, I have a printer also, which is connected. Please let me know. This will be called as what? All these terms will be called as what? All these are hardware, I know. But there is one term which starts with P. Yes, very good. Uh, Ravi and Pallavi, these will be called as your peripherals. So peripherals is those particular things which are externally connected to your computer with the help of different different types of hardwares. Good. I was also not expecting the right answer of this. Question number 29. Which now we are moving to memories. Okay, so we have finished three chapters till now. Introduction, the basics of computer, history and generations of computer, data organization, data processing, computer organization, so on and so forth. We have also finished hardware thing. Mind you, now we are coming to question number 29. That is related to your memory. Question number 29 on your screen. Which type of memory? Uh, how it can be D? Uh, someone answered D, right? Now it's deleted, I think. Which type of memory is closest to CPU? Mind you, if a memory is closest to CPU, it will be very, very fast. No, 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 catch. Very people are saying catch. Catch is not the correct answer. Answer will be register. Which type of memory is closest to CPU? It will be register. After register, it will be catch. Okay, so if two things are given to you out of register and catch, closest to CPU will be register. And mind you, if you, if you see the memory hierarchy chart as well which is given in certain standards book they have clearly written register is the first memory which is closest to cpu after that catch will come and mind you register is the fastest memory of computer and it is the most thinnest and uh, you can say it is the most smallest memory after that catch will come so do not just do this mistake register is a kind of memory there are small small registers which will definitely they which will definitely help to increase the speed of computer okay so register is a memory remember this ram is also a memory ram is a kind of a primary memory hard disk is a, is a kind of a secondary memory more about it we will discuss it okay closest to cpu is register yes so please remember this thing and also remember one thing if a memory is very fat for example if a memory is very very i would say it is larger in storage then the speed of that particular memory will be slow 
the slimmer the memory or you can say the shorter the memory faster the speed will be remember the fastest speed will be of register after that catch will come okay so please remember this register is a kind of memory okay so this we have discussed all the uh, answer was option number a question number 30 dash is a permanent memory which which holds data hails on a chair which holds data on a chair holds new got to h o l d okay and instructions for starting the computer and does not erase off after power off now let's discuss regarding ram and rom is pay hundred percent question i got so let me ask you and let me revise with you first answer this question okay ram that is your random access memory and read only memory चलो क्वेश्चन नंबर वन थर्टी एथ टिल नाउ वी हैव नॉट इवन क्लोज वन थर्ड ऑफ द सेशन बट चलो वी विल इंक्रीज द स्पीड स्लोली स्लोली आई एम नॉट इन हरी एंड आई होप यू आल्सो आर नॉट इन हरी यस द आंसर ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन विल बी ऑप्शन नंबर डी बट राइट नाउ लेट्स हैव अ डिस्कशन ऑफ रैम एंड रोम वॉट इज रैम रैंडम एक्सेस मेमोरी वॉट इज रोम रीड ओनली मेमोरी नाउ टेल मी कैन आई रीड एंड राइट ऑन रोम sorry read and write on ram i, I am asking my question again can i do read read and writing r plus writing on ram is it true or false or you can say yes or no can i do read and write on ram jaldi jaldi bolo thoda <laughs> because we have to cover multiple questions right so please let me know whether i can do reading and writing on ram okay uh, am i oh, yes pallavi is saying yes so yes read and ram can be done yes so re read and write read means what that you can read the instructions which are written on ram write means what that you can change the instructions which are written on ram okay so that is allowed but can i do read and write on rom the answer is no your head should say no i can only de do what read that is why the name is there read only memory tell me which particular type of memory will be volatile is ram volatile yes or no please let me know whether i uh, ram is volatile or not yes or no very easily can i ram is volatile or not please answer it yes or no yes you can read and write on ram that is totally correct ram is volatile or not ram ram yes the answer will be yes ram is a kind of volatile but mind you rom is not volatile and this is the exception of primary memory okay so please remember rom is a kind of a non volatile memory okay non volatile and ram is a kind of a volatile memory okay so remember this thing ye 100% question aayega so if you want to score one mark blindly then this is your answer ram is volatile okay so please remember this thing what is the third difference which i am telling you what is the speed is the re is the speed of ram higher than the speed of rom is the speed of ram higher than the speed of rom the answer will be yes okay why because ram is closely situated to the cpu if a memory is closely situated in front of cpu or in the peripherals of cpu your answer will be yes okay rom is non volatile this i have told you uh, sarkari naukri updates is saying both are volatile horribly wrong okay rom is not volatile okay please remember this so speed of ram will be higher yes remember this speed will be higher here speed will be not that much higher okay this particular ram ram is closer to cpu remember this also ram is closer to cpu and rom is not that much closer to cpu one last point which i would like to tell you ram is not that much necessary for booting up of computer but rom is kind of a memory which is required for booting of computer it will hold certain data which will help your computer to start okay so this particular table is surely going to be asked in your exam so i am repeating this particular thing for you ram and rom both are a kind of a primary memory only first thing ram you can do read and writing yes you can do it if you do if you do not agree with me definitely you can leave the session right now okay because you yourself will get confused okay rom rom mein you can only do read read means what that you can only read it you cannot make any changes yes okay so this is your first difference second says what that under ram ram is a kind of volatile rom is non volatile rom mein data will be there if even if you close your computer okay then remember the speed and the closure to cpu ram will have a higher speed then compare to rom and ram will be closely located to your cpu last thing which i told you regarding booting ram will help the computer in booting as well booting means what that you are starting your computer again this is the overall thing which you have to remember is 
ओके आई होप यू अग्री विद मी ऑल्सो देर आर डिफरेंट डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ रैम लाइक देर इज डायनेमिक रैम ओके डायनेमिक रैम देन वी हैव योर स्टैटिक रैम ओके एंड देन वी हैव योर सिंक डायनेमिक रैम एज वेल दैट वी विल डू लेटर वी आई हैव वन क्वेश्चन ऑन इट रोम में देर आर अगेन डिफरेंट डिफरेंट टाइम्स राइट रोम पे यू हैव योर मास्क रोम देन यू हैव योर प्रॉम programmable rom then you have your e prom and then you also have e e prom so there are different different things if you want to discuss let me know i will discuss with you but right now let's solve question number 31 chalo chalo question number 31 i hope you all are enjoying the class okay don't get confused at least because this is not the time to get confused but if you are wrong somewhere then it is my duty to correct you i was not being rude i am sorry if i am sounding rude okay yes gotham is saying program po, uh, prom e prom and then there is e e prom as well okay yes 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 good 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 i can see chat box people are writing it correctly okay then there is oh, chalo chalo question number 31 okay question number 31 the moment i start explaining everything i will go like explain explain and explain because this is how you will let the students know that who is teaching you chalo question number 31 which type of ram does not require constant refreshing now there are three types of ram okay all the features of ram we have discussed you have your dynamic ram you have your static ram and then you have your dynamic uh, synchronous dynamic ram you can call it as sd as well dynamic ram pe refreshing is required okay otherwise if you do not do refreshing it will lose its data static ram will definitely hold your kind of data till your computer is on like clipboards okay and then you have your synchronous dynamic ram this is a kind of dynamic ram only but it will hold a higher clock speed clock speed manje kya that it is a kind of a higher refreshing rate as simple as that cool so let's move ahead answer was option number b i can see maximum of you have given the right answer question number 32 consider the following statement in the context of memory and then select the correct option now here again we are testing you on memory measurement or management question number 32 question number 32 if you need discussion on e prom prom mass prom then please let me know i will do it but uh, that will uh, delay our lecture like definitely our class will run up to 9 then okay so if you agree i can do it but that depends upon the student participation okay question number 32 i will solve it for you but first you attempt it question number 32 secondary memory is also known as external and non volatile this is correct because secondary memory is something which you will add to the computer hard drive is a non removable storage device containing magnetic strips a compact disc compact disc is nothing this is your cd okay a winchester disc a cd is a portable storage yes definitely you can carry cds on multiple different different platforms right a winchester disc is an early term used to describe a type of an hard disk that is used seal yes which is just disk is a kind of an hard disk only okay like previously you we used to have floppies but right now we do not have floppies mind you cd stands for what compact disk dvd stands for what now there are two full forms of dvd earlier people were using dvds as digital video disc now people are calling digital uh, dvds as digital versus digital versatile disc okay so both the full forms are correct okay and then your winchester disc is again a kind of this so i think the answer should be option number e yes let me see the chat box why people are going with a secondary memory is external and non volatile this is correct now my friends i have told you primary memory primary memory like ram and rom primary memory mein there is one exception which i have told you rom ka but on a large primary memory is volatile secondary memory is non volatile primary memory is there in the computer secondary memory you are adding to the computer that is why it is known as an external memory do not go confuse yourself okay digital versatile disk bhi bolte hai digital video disk bhi bolte hai so therefore the answer of this particular question of this will be option number e okay now this is the theoretical part which you can read it you which you can read it later on remember dvd ke do full forms hai which i have told you whatever there is in your, whatever uh, options appear in your exam you can mark mark it question number 33 how many bits are there in a byte now this is a very easy question i will i am expecting the right answers of at least this question number yes primary memory is volatile hard drive hard disk can someone answer the doubt which is asked by preeti 
प्लीज एक्सप्लेन ऑप्शन नंबर बी ऑफ क्वेश्चन थर्टी टू जस्ट गिव मी सेकेंड वी विल गो बैक एंड डोंट वरी वी विल गो बैक क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी थ्री क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी थ्री थर्टी थ्री सी येस नाउ लेट मी गो बैक टू द क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी टू येस लेट मी रेज द स्क्रीन येस सो ऑप्शन नंबर बी राइट यू आर आस्किंग ऑप्शन नंबर बी येस हार्ड ड्राइव इज अ नॉन रिमूवेबल स्टोरेज डिवाइस कंटेनिंग मैग्नेटिक डिस्क नाउ वॉट इज द डाउट ओवर देयर नाउ इफ यू सी हार्ड डाइस इफ यू सी हार्ड डिस्क डेफिनेटली देर आर डिफरेंट डिफरेंट सर्कल्स विच आर मेड ओवर देयर एंड दीज सर्कल्स आर ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज योर कॉन्सेंट्रिंग सर्कल्स कॉन्सेंट्रिंग सर्कल्स मीन्स वॉट सर्कल के ऊपर सर्कल फिर उसके बाद भी सर्कल सो दीज आर वॉट योर डिफरेंट डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ सर्कल्स नाउ दीज ऑल आर नथिंग दीज आर कंटेनिंग डिफरेंट डिफरेंट मैग्नेटिक टेप्स ऑन दिस पर्टिकुलर मैग्नेटिक काइंड ऑफ थिंग यू विल हैव योर डिफरेंट डिफरेंट काइंड of storage but mind you you are adding something to the computer that is why it will be known as what it will be known as a secondary device okay so please remember this thing now coming back to question number 33 now how many bits are there in a byte now you have to remember in byte there are eight bits now what is a bit bit is nothing this is just one singular value of either one or zero okay either one or zero means what For example, if I say one, then one is nothing. It is just your bit. If I say singular zero, then it is nothing. It is just what what. This is just your single bit. Simple. Remember, रखना है. If I write over here one, okay, this is your bit. If I write over here zero, then it is your again a bit. So any singular one, any singular zero is your bit. Okay, and then what is the collection of four bits? If I write collection of four bits, then what will be your answer? If I ask you collection of four bits. Collection of four bits. Collection of four bits is called as what? Collection of four bits is called as what? Yes, it is known as nibble. Very good. It is known as what nibble? And collection of eight bits. Eight bits means what? That you are arranging zeros and one in different different things. That will be called as a byte. Okay. So byte me there are eight bits. And then you have your what? I would say in nibble there are four bits. Okay. So you have to remember this. Now this is the chart which you have to remember, my friend. Okay, bit is a single digit zero and one. Nibble will have four bits. A byte will have eight bits. But mind you, you have to remember one thing. What is the smallest unit of memory? Then your answer will be bit. What is the highest unit of memory? Then your answer will be yotta byte. Okay, so please remember this particular chart. In some previous year question, they have asked you directly that one GB is equals to what? Then it is a very basic term. That is your one zero two four megabytes. But this particular chart will definitely add your knowledge, and you have to remember this chart because there is no other, I would say, shortcut you can do so. Now all I can help you is that gigabytes. So, तो अपने को सबको आता ही है because we are using it from our school days. After that, you can just remember regarding different different very important terms in an. acronym that what is your acronym t p e a z y tip c i call it as tip c t stands for what terabyte p stands for what petabyte e stands for what exabyte z stands for what zettabyte and y stands for your yottabyte so yahan pe confuse nahi hona hai ye zettabyte hai aur ye yottabyte hai and highest unit of memory is your yottabyte so this you have to remember cool remember this particular chart it is very very important question number 34 Uh, i'm seeing the chat nibble 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 uh, hard drive non removable uh, kaveri i am unable to understand your doubt eight digits eight digit yes maximum of you are going on right track chalo question number 34 which of the following is not a system software which of the following is not a system not pucha hua to ye dhang se reply karna okay now this is a level of nawad question now this is something which will you which you will definitely see in your class which will sorry which you will see in your exam as well and yes my friend please do let me know whether my speed is okay whether i am running too fast or whether i am running too slow please just let me know because uh, i have to address all my audience in the same manner okay which of the following now see software now we are discussing regarding ha hardware is done so memory is done now we are discussing regarding software ओके सॉफ्टवेयर में मेमोरी के अंदर याद रखना आई एम अगेन एंड अगेन रिपीटिंग रैम एंड रोम से पक्का क्वेश्चन आएगा सो प्लीज डू इट वेरी केयरफुली ओके डिवाइस ड्राइवर्स टू स्लो ओके स्पीड इज ओके 
just make one consensus and let me know i can finish the class very soon it's also now see software can be divided like hardware has three parts like input output and motherboard in the same way software can be divided into three different parts first is your system software then you have your application software and then you have your software programs okay i again repeat software can be divided into three different kinds of things okay first is your system software application software and software programming now system software can again be divided into four different parts okay first is your what operating system os jise bolte hai okay then you have what your uh, device drivers and then you have your what application pro, uh, i would say what utility software okay and then you have your what i would say language translators i again repeat software ke there are three different parts system software application software and then you have your software programs system software this is your the main important thing jahan pe aapki puri picture start hoti hai system software will again have four different parts operating software device drivers then you have your language translations and this is your utility software ab ye kya kya hota hai i'm explaining you in a very easy manner jo device driver hai this is nothing this will just allow different different devices jo peripherals hote hai it will allow the computer to be connected and via this you can update your what devices as well for example if you have any update in your printers then definitely you can update it with the help of device drivers then comes your op language translators language translators kya hote for example i am using assembler to convert my assembly language into machine language i am using my compiler or an interpreter to convert my high level language into a machine level language and we uh, so this is your what your tra language translators are then comes your operating software operating software ko to main aise yaad rakhta hu that it is the soul of the computer why with the help of operating software your computer will be i would say uh, your computer will be interacting with the different different types of applications for example if you are an android user or an ios user if you are installing whatsapp from different different other kinds of medium then you will say that operating system of android is different operating system of ios is different if you see whatsapp in ios that is in apple phones wahan pe jo back ka button hota hai whatsapp ka that appears on the top left corner but same uh, it's vice versa in android why because in android the uh, back ka button that is if you have to go back in android in whatsapp then you will see that you have to go deep in the downstair parts okay so this is how operating system you will be asking questions that is you air means the computer will be asking different different questions that you want to give permission to uh, whatsapp or not what are the different different things so that is also a kind of a system software utility software means your i would say different different types of other software like for example we have your disk uh, compression reducing the size of disk then we also have i would say what uh, Uh, antivirus what is antivirus it is a kind of a utility which you are taking okay so this you have to remember that there are different different types of system software and each system software plays its important role therefore now i would say the answer will be option e why option e because all of them are a part of system software okay remember system software will have four different categories this i have told you operating system is the kind of a soul of the computer it will decide that how computer will interact with third party applications utility program will provide certain utility or service like antivirus or you can say disk uh, compression and something like that okay device drivers will help external devices to connect with your computers language translators assemblers and different different kinds of interpreter and compiler now these are your system software very important okay now system software we have done now let's understand regarding application software in the next question chalo first you have a question on operating software operating system solve it acronyms loud okay good language uh, chalo speed is good then it is good uh, why there is a doubt hard drives are not removable in journal language see uh, if you have different different uh, my computer agar aap kholte ho then you will see local disk c local disk d in journal language they are really not removable but if you open the computer if you do if you do that much you know screwing up kind of thing then they can be replaced and they are removable to certain extent okay question number 35 now okay mind you software is an important topic hum logo ne system software cover kar liya hai which has four different parts okay i am not repeating it again ek application software hai that we have to discuss or ek software programming hai that we have to discuss 
ओके थर्टी फाइव ए वॉट इज द मेन फंक्शन वॉट इज द मेन फंक्शन येस आई कैन सी दैट यू आर गोइंग ऑन द राइट ट्रैक द आंसर विल बी ऑप्शन नंबर ए सॉरी ओके मैनेजिंग एंड कॉर्डिनेटिंग हार्डवेयर एंड सॉफ्टवेयर एज सिंपल इज दैट एंड दैट इज वन ऑफ द मेन फंक्शन ऑफ सॉफ्टवेयर ऑपरेटिंग इट इज द सोल ऑफ द कंपनी सोल ऑफ द कंप्यूटर आई मीन ओके नाउ सी वॉट इज एप्लीकेशन सॉफ्टवेयर एप्लीकेशन सॉफ्टवेयर मीन्स दैट यू आर डाउनलोडिंग समथिंग एंड दैट पर्टिकुलर सॉफ्टवेयर विल डू दैट फंक्शन फॉर एग्जाम्पल अगर आपने मोबाइल में आई आर सी टी सी का एप डाउनलोड करा है कैन यू ऑर्डर पिज्जा इन योर होम विद द हेल्प ऑफ आई आर सी टी सी पिज्जा योर आंसर शुड बी नो सो आई आर सी टी सी सॉफ्टवेयर इज अ काइंड ऑफ एन एप्लीकेशन प्रोग्राम वाया विच यू कैन जस्ट डू वॉट यू कैन जस्ट डू बुकिंग ऑफ टिकट्स ऑन द डिफरेंट डिफरेंट प्लेटफॉर्म like railways airways and so and so forth so that is your application software for example in your computer we download ms word we have your ms excel all those are application software for on excel i can do number thing on word i can process different different types of document okay then comes your software programming software programming is nothing you are developing new software altogether so those people who are coming from computer science like engineering background of computer science they are the people who are dealing in software programming they are deal they are converting they are innovating new new kind of software for certain companies for example like infosys you have your different different other companies like tech mahindra so on and so forth so they hire software developers which develop new new kind of software as simple as that chalo question number 36 sanika is asking that is I, what was my thing please understand i told you that can you order pizza from icctc at your home that is the first statement which i put forward you are just twisting my statements i would say okay question number 36 question number 36 focus focus what is a type of software that is primarily used for editing videos audios and text that allows users to combine elements to enhance text documents so you are editing audio uh, you are editing an audio the answer should be over here question number 36 as soon as i start explaining people are leaving the class am i explaining in a very bad manner or what yes it is multimedia software now there are different all for example a word processing spreadsheet presentation and multimedia and even data packet software they uh, all these like multimedia presentation spreadsheet and word processing they all are your application software okay why because they are providing certain applications to your computer as simple as that okay now let's move ahead ठीक है सो वी हैव क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी सेवन नाउ क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी सेवन अ बाइट बाइट इज वॉट अ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ एट बिट्स नाउ अ बाइट कैन रिप्रेजेंट एनी नंबर बिटवीन जीरो टू वॉट ओके जीरो टू वॉट आई कैन फ्रेम दिस क्वेश्चन लाइक वन मोर वे क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी सेवन यस थैंक यू पूजा ओनली यू आर देयर टू एक्नोलेज माई एफर्ट्स else if i want to go fast i can go fast as well like exam uh, question number 37 the answer is option number b let's move to the next question that thing i also can do if you want to yes it's 255 very good okay now remember this is 255 it means what that if you start counting from 0 1 2 3 4 all together to 255 then total how many digits are there please let me know how many digits are there in one uh, how many digits can be made out of one byte if this is my question currently the answer is option number b which i agree a byte can be represented any number between 0 to 255 but if i ask you but if i ask you how many total numbers can be represented then your answer should be 256 this is nothing you are just counting everything okay so if you do counting then you will definitely get an answer of 256 good chalo question number uh, this is done right now byte is this i have told you that there are eight values between 0 to 1 values means what bits only so do not get confused simple let's move ahead yes uh, now i am getting the answers 256 question number 38 which type of programming language provides human readable instructions to cpu and is considered as a low level language okay in certain books mind you assembly language ko low level language bhi bola hua hai middle level language bhi bola hua hai but on larger extent we take assembly language as a low level language only chalo chalo question number 38 uh, thank you dinesh question number 38 i am still very new to this uh 
teaching style, but still I am trying my best. Question number 38. Which type of programming language provides human readable? Now remember, assembly language ko agar machine level mein leke jana hai, then I will use what? Assembler. Very easy to remember ye to. Then we have two options. High level language, two machine language. One more case, high level language, two machine language. Okay? Machine language ko binary language bhi bolte. Okay? High level language ko machine language mein leke, language mein leke jana hai, then you can do it with the help of interpreter or compiler. Okay, both things can be used. But what is the difference between interpreter and compiler? That we will let you know. This year also, so SP, you will able to do it. Just solve previous year questions because they, that is really very important. Okay, this time uh, in the last year marathon, I still remember I bought previous year questions in marathon. But this time, because previous year questions are very important, so I, I have made one separate document or one separate video for you so that you can practice it multiple times. Chalo. Now we are uh, question number 38. Now see my friend, first understand this thing, then we will uh, understand the rest of the question. Because this is again very, very, very important. Okay. Now, if I have to convert, if I have to convert my assembly language into machine language, I will use assembler. There is no more further concept to discuss on this topic. But when it comes to high level language conversion to machine language, then I have two options. First is interpreter and the second one is compiler. Under it, interpreter, mind you, if I'm writing the code, if I'm writing a code in high level language, I will be, I will be uh, computer will be telling me the mistakes line by line. That is what interpreter it. Okay. So if there is any mistake in the code, computer will say, sir, there is a mistake in line number one. Sir, there is a mistake in line number two. But that is not the case of compiler. In compiler, mind you, my friend, if I'm writing a code, compiler will tell me all the different, different kinds of error at one single time. It will not go line by line. This is the difference between interpreter and compiler. Okay. <coughs> I again repeat. Under interpreter, uh, computer will tell you or rather the language translator will tell you line by line mistakes. But under compiler, all the mistakes will be given to you in one single form. So that you have to remember. Okay, this is a difference between your lang uh, interpreter and compiler. Now, which type of programming language is human readable and it is considered as a low level, then your answer will be assembly. Binary language and machine language cannot be your answer. You cannot understand the language of zeros and one. Therefore, your answer will be option number C. So let me see who have given you the answer as option number C. I don't know why you people are not answering it. Machine level kya hota hai? Machine level is zeros and one. This is exactly the same language which computer will understand, right? But we cannot, un we cannot understand it. We can understand assembly language. That is a human readable. It is in the form of mnemonics. As simple as that. Okay. Question number 39 now. Question number 39. Do not let your energy go down. I need answers from question number 39 now. Question number 39. Question number 39. The test is a test. Now here we are talking regarding a test of the computer which must be completed to verify all the hardware is working properly before starting of the reminder process. It will be called as what? Why you people are not answering the question number 39? BIOS is not a test. BIOS is a software. Mind you, BIOS is a software. BIOS is software. The answer will be POST. Post is a kind of a test. What is post? Post is a kind of test. What is post? Post is a kind of test. It refers to what? Power on self test. P power O is on self test. When you are doing a restarting kind of thing, computer will do post. Computer will do a kind of a self check or you can say a, a kind of a self testing wherein computer will check whether all the components of computer are working good or not. Mind you, BIOS, basic input and output system is a kind of a software which will start. It is not a kind of a test. Post is the correct answer. Let me see the chat box. Yes, post is the correct answer, not BIOS. Therefore, the answer will be option number B. Question number 40. What is cold boot in the context of computing? What is cold boot? Answer this question very easily. Yes, power on self-test is the correct answer. Question number 40. What is cold boot? Restarting a computer after it has been powered off. Restarting a computer without shutting it down. Rebooting a computer? No, rebooting is not the correct answer. Switching from a warm boot to a cold boot? This is also not the correct answer. So answer A or B may say. 
See in field of computing, booting refers to what? Starting of your computer. Okay, booting is just starting of your computer. Okay, इसको bootstrap process भी बोलते हैं. As simple as that. It means what? That it will you will you are starting your computer. Now booting can be done in two ways. First is your warm boot, W A R M, warm boot, and then you have your cold boot. Okay, warm boot को hot boot भी बोलते हैं. H O T. Okay, so warm boot means what, or hot boot means what? That you are starting your computer from on to on. Remember this, on and on is nothing. It is your warm boot. For example, currently if I am taking my live class, and if anything happens in my computer, what I will do? I will just do a restart. For example, if you have watched that Mangalyan movie. Okay, for those who have just watched Mangalyan movie, again one of the greatest movies in Indian cinemas. But if you have watched that Mangalyan movie. Uh, there is one actress which restarted the entire system in ISRO. Although it was just a graphical representation, I am just giving you an example so that you can understand it. That particular actress just restarted that thing. So restarted a particular system. That was nothing. It was just a warm boot. Warm boot means what? That you are not allowing your computer to sleep. You are just trying to. You are just trying your computer. to come from on stage on is what that currently my computer is on then you are bringing and restart kind of thing and you are again restarting your computer so basically under warm boot you are not allowing your computer to sleep aap apne computer ko sone nahi de rahe ho as simple as that but when it comes to cold boot cold boot simply means that you are allowing your computer to sleep for example currently at 10 pm i will sleep and i will wake up tomorrow at 6 am so that is what cold booting of humans is in the same manner in cold boot of computer you first allow the computer to sleep and then you restart it later so that is what cold boot is all about here the answer will be option number a because in option number a restarting the computer after it has been powered off so cold boot mein kya hota hai off karte ho aap fir on karte ho so this is the difference between warm and cold boot i hope you remember the basic difference between them now the answer was option number a Okay, restarting the computer without shutting it down. So here you are doing what you are doing a kind of restart. All the restart are an example of warm boot. Question number forty one now. Chalo, question number forty one. Question number forty one. Question number forty one. Consider the following statements in the context of operating system. Operating system is nothing. It is just your OS. For example, if you have iOS, then your operating system is sorry. If you have Apple phone, then your operating system is iOS. If you are having any other phone, then you might have I would say uh, Android install in it. So operating system is a part of system software only. This I have told you. An operating system is a type of software without which you cannot operate or run your computer. This is very good. This statement is correct. I mean, it acts as an intermediary of translation system between computer hardware and application. This is Also correct. Examples of operating is Linux, DOS. DOS is disk operating system. Apple iOS, yes. Mac iOS is nothing. This is your computer iOS of I would say uh, of the laptops which are offered by uh, Apple. Okay. Nowadays these are your watch iOS also. Watch iOS is what. For example, if you have an uh, Apple Watch, then Apple will offer you Watch iOS. So according to me, so all options should be correct. Let me see the answer. Yes, option E is correct. Good. All of you are answering it as option E. Question number forty-two. Dash is the central part of operating system. It manages the operation of the computer and the hardware. Most notably. the memory and cpu time now if you see there are seven layers of operating system now you cannot remember all the layers i know but you have to remember the uh, core of this particular operating system and just remember the outer layer okay yes this year also ms shortcut keys will come which we will discuss it on the later part of the video okay do not worry i will give you an chart which will help you to remember all the keys okay चलो चलो क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी टू ये इट इज कर्नल कर्नल इज अ काइंड ऑफ अ आई वुड से व्हाट इट इज अ टाइप ऑफ द बेसिक core of this particular i would say what operating system and mind you the outer layer outer layer is known as user layer okay user because user will be sitting over here and he will be seeing the operating system as simple as that okay register is a kind of memory which we have already discussed so register cannot be your answer processor is what you have to install kernel is i have explained you kernel is the core of this particular operating system device driver we have discussed it is a kind of what it is a kind of i would say 
system software only which will allow different different devices to be connected okay all the explanation is given for you uh, okay to remember it in a later part question number 43 dtp dtp is a tool for graphic designers and non designers to create visual communication professionals dtp stands for what now here is one more i would say thread thread is again a kind of a platform for example if you see what is bus in bus we have different different communication which happens on i would say what motherboard in the same manner there are different different threads or if you just go back thread is a unit of execution with process but it is not the central part of operating it is there for operating different different functions of operating system basically kernel is the most important part which you have to remember threads are there just for facilitation purpose but they are not that much important for running of i would say a major system okay kernel is the most important thing yes it is device transfer protocol why people are going with option number a it is desktop publishing yes the correct answer will be desktop publishing now we have certain more short forms to discuss what is cobol first let me know cobol cd and dvd we have discussed cobol is a high level language okay cobol is a high level language this we have discussed question number uh, what is the question number over 43 i want you to test on certain full forms crt crt is your cathrate uh, tube if i'm not wrong crt can someone let me know the full form of crt cathode ray tube if i'm not wrong what is the full form of crt can someone confirm in the chat box cathode ray tube if i'm not wrong this was used in your big big kind of desktops like fat desktops right crt stands for what can someone let me know in the chat box yes second that was vacuum tubes it is a kind of tube only but please let me know what is the full form of cobol and crt cobol is common oriented business language again i am repeating common oriented business language okay co yes cathode ray tube i was correct good okay cd is compact disc dvd digital versatile disc digital video disc whatever you want to call it as dbms is what database management system database management system doc doc is nothing this is just your remember doc is document okay doc is document simple there is one th one more thing dos dos is disk operating system ओके सो रिमेंबर डिफरेंस डॉक यानी क्या होता है डॉक्यूमेंट डॉस यानी क्या होता है डिस्क ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम डीपीआई कैन समवन लेट मी नो द फुल फॉर्म ऑफ डीपीआई दिस वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड व्हाट इज द फुल फॉर्म ऑफ डीपीआई फुल फॉर्म ऑफ डीपीआई फुल फॉर्म ऑफ डीपीआई आई नीड आंसर्स फॉर डीपीआई come on people why you are leaving the class i don't know that is really demotivating to see dots parents yes and dns is your domain naming system or domain name system as well if you have to name your domains like in your web pages then it is your domain name system okay so desktop publishing that we have done right now question number 44 what was the first computer network which was developed by robert kahn and vincent surf first tell me what was the first computer network now we are coming to the field of internet or you can say network as well now there are different different things which we have to discuss in network okay yes domain name system dots per inch that we have discussed cps bhi kara hua hai apne character per second okay so those thing we have discussed i am not repeating it again question number 44 what is the first computer network which was developed by robert kahn and vincent surf is it lan is it wan is it personal area network or is it metropolitan area network it is your arpa net very good arpa net was the first kind of network and it is a kind of wide area network okay arpa net was a kind of first wide area network which was developed by robert kahn and vincent surf so remember this thing also remember very very other important things like uh, if i ask you who is the father of who is the father of internet then what will be your answer who is the father of internet who is the father of internet who is the father of internet come on let me know your answers in chat box delhi bolo who is the father of your internet internet tim berners lee is the father of www okay wo alag hai father of internet is your vincent surf 
चार्ल्स बाबेज चार्ल्स बाबेज इज द फादर ऑफ कंप्यूटर माय फ्रेंड्स ओके सो इसको याद रखना विंसर्ट सर्फ इज द फादर ऑफ इंटरनेट ओके टिम बर्नर्स ली इज अ फादर ऑफ डब्ल्यू 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 चार्ल्स बाबेज इज द फादर ऑफ कंप्यूटर सो डो नॉट गेट कंफ्यूज एक बार रिवाइज कर लेना क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी फाइव विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज नॉट द फाइव कॉम्पोनेट ऑफ कंप्यूटर नेटवर्क वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट लैंड पैन एंड अदर थिंग्स इन द लेटर क्वेश्चन ये फादर ऑफ इंटरनेट इज विंसर्ट सर्फ okay if you want i will uh, if you want me to type in the chat box let me know i will type the names as well okay so that there is no confusion which of the following is not one of the five components of a computer network now i hope you know what is computer network basically this is your server and all the different different components or i would say different different pcs or computer are attached to this particular network chalo question number 45 Yes, very good. Although device is a name, but here adjuster is wrong. Here it will be receiver. Okay, so please remember that there are five important net uh, components of each and every network. There will be a sender who will send a message. There has to be a sender equipment. This is like a communication process. So those people who are coming from management of RBI, they will be able to connect it. Okay, sender is there. Then there is a sender equipment. It is a kind of encoding which takes place so that their message goes on in a very safe format then there is a channel then you have your receiver equipment where decoding is done because here encoding is there then decoding has to be done right and then you have your receiver receiver is the person who is taking the message here mind you adjuster was the wrong term okay therefore the answer was option number e question number 46 question number 46 okay so total we have 90 questions so we are half way across the mark but i will clear the class i will stop the class by 9:30 max okay so still we have one and a half hour to go but mind you we are covering everything which is important for your examination except previous year questions i am repeating again wo dekh lena ek bar okay question number 46 wo video already uploaded hai youtube pe all you need to go is go search and solve it same in the case of dm डिसीजन मेकिंग के लिए भी ऑलरेडी द वीडियो इज देयर ऑन यूट्यूब क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी सिक्स इट इज अ टाइप ऑफ नेटवर्क इंटरफेस कार्ड एन आई सी इज ऑल्सो वन ऑफ द फेमस शॉर्ट फॉर्म यू आर एल यूनिफॉर्म रिसोर्स लोकेटर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी वन का बेसिक क्वेश्चन है ये नाउ इफ सच क्वेश्चन कम्स इन योर एग्जाम इफ आई वॉज ऑन योर प्लेस आई वुड हैव डन दिस क्वेश्चन इन फाइव सेकेंड्स इफ द ऑप्शन वर नॉट दैट कंफ्यूजिंग राइट नाउ विच टाइप ऑफ एन आई सी यूज वेव टेक्नोलॉजी द आंसर विल बी वायरलेस वायर्ड मीन्स वॉट वायर्ड मीन्स दैट यू आर यूजिंग थर्टन टाइप्स ऑफ वायर ब्लूटूथ इज अगेन वॉट wireless optical is something based on the light okay ethernet is again a kind of a wired you will be using different different types of wires like copper wire and so and so forth okay so the answer was option number a remember optical nic is a kind of optical signal such as light It's as simple as that for example my mouse is a kind of an optical mouse why because we have a certain laser inbuilt in this particular mouse so this you have to remember chalo question number 47 difference between encoding and encryption that is a good doubt on a uh, can someone let me know what is the difference between encoding and encryption on a journal language can we say that these two terms means the same question number 47 now which of the following statement best describes the primary characteristics of metropolitan area network metropolitan area network means what man but before that can someone let me know the difference between encoding and encryption which is asked by preeti yes this is i was asking shreya datta right she is writing encryption is encoding data in a secure form which can only be accessed by the key yes pdf will be available to your telegram channel even i agree with uh, shreya as well okay so encoding again what you are doing you are trying to encrypt your message you can say that okay chalo now let's come back to question number 47 now please remember certain very important things pan now let's remember regarding different types of computer networks so we will come to this particular question later on but first let's understand different types of computer network very first is pan pan is your personal area network for example if i develop a personal area network around myself that is your bluetooth 
is an example of personal area network local area network is what for example if an office people wants to connect they can connect with their uh, with the help of uh, local area network then you have your metropolitan area network this is based on your city for example if each and every cctv camera of a city has to be connected with some major source so they will use what metropolitan area network wide area network is a kind of a network which is spread across different different oceans tell me internet is an example of what internet is an example of what internet is an example of what yes uh, local area network can be used for your offices it can be used for your schools as well if your school is not that much big okay internet is an example of what internet is an example of what all these different different kinds of network are defined in their terms of coverage okay so personal area network will have the lowest coverage after that local will come after that metropolitan will come and after that wide area will come yes internet is an example of wide area network okay now let's go back and solve the question mans are typically mans here means what not the human man it is your mode man of it is your metropolitan area network is it typically aim for single building the answer is no here if i write lan this statement will become correct but the question is regarding man man uses satellite this is also incorrect why because we use a wide area network wide area network which is your internet for satellite purpose man covers a larger geographical areas than lan but smaller than when this statement is correct and therefore the answer of state question number 47 is c man primarily use fiber optic cables this again cannot be true because how you will connect different different things of a city from a one particular label you will have to use this okay so let's move ahead to question number 48 chalo question number 48 which scientist is credited for the idea of personal area network now these are certain fact based question okay if you see your i would say uh, previous year questions also they have asked you what is the storage capacity of uh, cds what is the storage capacity of dvd so those question we have solved based on that only i have developed certain very important factual questions which you should remember question number 48 which scientist is credited with the idea of personal area network your answer will be thomas zimmerman now this is a based of what this is based on journal ratta you will say that you have to do road learning over here okay so thomas zimmerman is the person who has given the idea of what pan question number 49 what is swan i have heard about wide area network but what is swan Okay, if anything, something is swan is there. Can someone let me know in the chat box so that we can contribute towards a dual way learning? If there is any term like swan, question number forty nine. Which network protocol is commonly used for sending and receiving mails? Sending and receiving mails. Which particular protocol is commonly used for sending and receiving mails? it will be your simple mail transfer protocol. Here also certain full forms are there. I SMTP yes the answer will be simple mail transfer protocol URL is what my friend URL URL is your uniform resource locator POP that is a post office protocol if I am not wrong FTP we have discussed file transfer protocol state wide area network sorry I am not aware of this particular term okay I or uh, I will do search about it but I will let you know after the class get ends up out uh, or i will post in in the comment section also now these are some very very important types of i would say what protocols which you should remember now tell me ip ip stands for what internet protocol ip is a kind of an aadhar card of every other kind of computer which is connected to internet ipv version 4 ipv version 4 is of how many bits how i uh, ipv version 4 is of how many bits IPv version four is of how many bits? Jali jali thoda. IPv version four is of how many bits? This is a kind of an Aadhaar address which is given. For example, we have we humans have Aadhaar in India, which is a twelve-digit number, right? But in the case of computers, we give certain specific numbers. Yes, IPv version four is thirty-two, and IPv version uh, IPv version six. IPv version six is of one twenty. can you complete this number 
IPv version 6 of how many numbers or sorry how many bits sorry not number how many bits are there under IPv version 6 128 okay so please remember this cool chalo question number 50 now what is telnet telnet is again a protocol okay it is primarily used for computer networking for which particular purpose is it used for sending and receiving email that is wrong okay remote terminal access for command and line control for remote computer this is the correct option. I will not even look for the other people or the other options for sake. Yes, IPv version 6 of 128, you have all answered it correctly. Okay, so Telnet is a kind of a protocol which will allow you to do a remote login. Okay, now just to discuss certain protocols which I think I missed in the previous slide. TCP is transmission control protocol. Remember that it is a connection oriented protocol. Connection oriented means what? That it will connect to you or you can send your file from one computer to another computer and definitely it is a kind of a smaller, I would say what, uh, the speed in TCP is quite slow. Then you have your UDP. UDP is your user data user datagram protocol this is also a kind of a file sending or you can say connection protocol only but this is connection less so basically here you will remember regarding different different connection less technologies ip is a kind of an adhar address which is given to every other computer pop is post office protocol this particular protocol will allow you to extract different types of emails okay but smtp which is your simple mail protocol will be there to send different different types of mails which you can do so okay so these are certain very important types of protocol now telnet telnet is again a protocol which will allow you to do what remote login as simple as that okay now ftp is what ftp is your file transfer protocol if you have to send some files you will use ftp http is your hypertext transfer protocol this is used for hosting different different types of web pages on a browser or something like that okay you might have SIP session initiation protocol. This is used for example, if you have your YONO, that is the app of SBI, right? So if you go away from YONO for a particular period of time, for example, if you are not using active YONO session for five minutes, YONO will automatically clear your session and you will be allowed, you will be again required to enter password. So that is what your session initiation is. Then you have Telnet. Telnet is nothing. It is all about remote login. Okay. Let's move ahead. Question number 51. What is the primary purpose of URL? URL is what? Uni unique resource locator. This is your previous year question based kind of question. Hello. Question number 80, 51. Sorry. Question number 51. What is the primary purpose of URL? Yes, Mayank is adding some extra knowledge. HTTP to main aapko bata diya. If I am writing HTTPS, that is HTTP, I am sorry, HTTPS, then this S is for secure, okay? And HTTP that we have discussed, hypertext, yes, it is your two. Uh, uniform resource locator is to access a website. For example, if Edutab website is there, it can be accessed by you. It can be accessed by the person who is sitting in Australia as well. Cool. Very easy question. Not wasting much of your time. Let's move ahead. Question number 52. Again, it is easy, my friend. You can easily answer this. Modem. Although no one uses modem these days. These days we have Wi-Fi's. But can you know, let me know the answers of question number 52. A modem is a, is a connected to dash. Okay, now modem is a kind of a traditional device via which you are connecting with the help of internet. The answer over here will be phone line. Not wasting much of the time over here. This is one of the easiest thing. Printer, processor, motherboard. We have discussed kar liya hai. Okay. So the answer was option number E. Now, uh, D, sorry, not E. Question number 53. Now this is a good topic. I will wait for answers for 53. You will have to type in like this. 53 and then colon and then you have to answer it. 53. Is it unique or uniform? In uh, which context you are asking, Preeti? Is modern a broadband? Kind of. Okay, you can tell yourself yes in a journal language why i'm using the word journal language because there are certain exceptions but if you go in those exceptions you will waste your time okay 
क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टी थ्री विच इन विच चैनल द फ्लो ऑफ डाटा इज ऑलवेज वन डायरेक्शन फिफ्टी थ्री सी ये वॉट इज सिंप्लेक्स सिंप्लेक्स सिंपली मीन्स दैट दिस इज कंप्यूटर वन दिस इज कंप्यूटर टू नाउ इफ द कंप्यूटर वन इज ट्रांसफरिंग सम डाटा एंड देर इज नो अदर रिस्पॉन्स देन दिस इज योर सिंप्लेक्स वॉट इज योर अदर टर्म हाफ ड्यूप्लेक्स हाफ ड्यूप्लेक्स दैट इज ऑप्शन नंबर बी हेयर द आंसर इज ऑप्शन नंबर सी आई अग्री बट जस्ट टू एक्सप्लेन यू वॉट इज हाफ ड्यूप फॉर एग्जाम्पल इन सिंप्लेक्स द एग्जाम्पल विल बी रेडियो इन रेडियो वी डो नॉट हैव द ऑप्शन टू चेंज दी सॉन्ग्स राइट वॉट एवर द radio broadcaster is saying to us we will just have to listen to it that is your simplex channel that is only one way communication it's like an autocratic channel as well okay simplex uh, this is your simplex okay what is your half duplex half duplex means that you are transferring the communication to one computer to another computer and after listening to the communication other computer will respond for example you have your walkie talkies walkie talkies is what it is a kind of a half duplex channel the first uh, commander will say where are you then the officer will respond the, after that listening to that message what is duplex or you can say full duplex full duplex is nothing this is like an simultaneous change of information for example currently we are having duplex you are listening to me you are answering your questions in the chat box so this is what duplex is happening once i off the chat box you will just listen to me so that will be an example of simplex okay so please remember this question number answer is c 54 now yes one direction at one time that is simplex and one direction after that feedback is coming that is half duplex but if everything is happening simultaneously simultaneously means what like hand to hand then it will be example of full duplex yes half duplex walkie talkie good 54 uh, which is the network device that is used to generate and replicate signals that are weakened and destroyed by transmission over long distances now if you see network we we have had multiple discussions this is the question which talks regarding watch this is the question which will okay hello now we are talking regarding question number 54 now what is hub and switch hub is something which is the central point of different different types of network now this is a kind of an hub which i am drawing switch is also a kind of a similar thing only but just understand the difference repeater the answer over here will be repeater for example if you are not getting good signals then how you will replicate those signals how you can make your strong how you can make your signal strong you can make that signal strong with the help of repeater now what is hub i am explaining you what is switch i am explaining you bridge is a very easy topic which i will explain you this is the definition of hub for example computer a computer b computer c and d are connected to this particular hub and this is your server okay now for example if a wants to communicate to c that today i am not feeling well what will hub do hub will do a dindora what is dindora it will distribute all the different different messages between a and c to all the different different parties now if a is telling to c that i am not well today via hub then d and b will also come to know so it is a kind of a broadcaster it will distribute the message between different different kinds of computers which are connected but what is a switch switch is a kind of a i would say again uh you can say it is a kind of a device only but here mind you my friend if a wants to talk to b this time there will be no dindora this time there will be no broadcasting rather in this particular case there will be a private message which will be sent between a and b, b d and c will not come to know what a and b are talking this you have to remember okay now what is uh, this these are your different different kinds of i would say components which you can remember repeater hub switches bridge segment and filters the traffic for example if you install a bridge then all the communication between a and c bridge will filter out which communication is important and which communication is not important simple rahul i have already answered you multiple times you will not get the answer again you are just creating chaos in my class okay i am very sorry if i am sounding rude but yes networks uh, ms shortcut keys will come okay now question number 55 which network uh, which computer hardware components uh, which is a computer network hardware component that connects computer to a network this is a very easy question i hope you will be able to answer it mobile phone can be in half duplex definitely partly yes but it will depend that which two particular persons are topic talking if like talkative persons are talking they are just sharing the uh, information simultaneously then it will not be but if like if one person is saying first then other person is saying then it can be question number 55 computer hardware that connects 
the option will be a right network interface cart router can also be the right answer i think yes this is a vague question i will accept option can be d as well so i will change the language of the question just assume router is not there okay i am just writing hub over here so the, in that case the answer will be a i will change the pdf don't worry okay so sorry for this vague question question the answer was a question number 56 now my friends do not lose your energy now we are discussing regarding network topology topology means what arrangement okay arrangements or you can say router will help you to connect to an internet चलो आई विल सी दैट क्वेश्चन बट दैट क्वेश्चन वॉज येस राउटर प्रिवेंट्स ट्रैफिक एज वेल टू अ सर्टन एक्सटेंट द आंसर शुड बी ए ओनली राइट बिकॉज राउटर समटाइम्स ऑल्सो हेल्प्स यू टू कनेक्ट टू द इंटरनेट इट विल नॉट चलो वी विल सी टू दैट येस इवन आई एग्री दैट आंसर शुड बी ए ओनली येस नाउ ऑल्सो माई थिंकिंग इज सींग द आंसर शुड बी ए ओनली बट विदाउट एन आई सी येस यू हैव टू यू हैव टू गिव प्रेफरेंस टू ए दिस इवन आई अग्री चलो क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टी सिक्स फिफ्टी फाइव इज दट द आंसर विल बी एन आई सी ओनली दैट इज नेटवर्क इंटरफेस कार्ड बिकॉज दैट इज द प्राइमरी थिंग बिफोर राउटर ओके आई विल गो बैक टू दैट क्वेश्चन टू एक्सप्लेन यू बट लेट्स हैव अ डिस्कशन ऑन फिफ्टी सिक्स दिस इज रियली वेरी गुड डिस्कशन फ्रॉम आदित्य प्रीति एंड श्रेया दिस इज हाउ यू contribute to the knowledge as well very good okay question number 56 dash is a network topology in which each node is connected to other nodes so this is an adjoining kind of thing so this is your ring topology right so the answer will be option number d yes even uh, the answer over here will be now network topology can be different different types the question clearly says that the here the each node node is a kind of a connection only or you, you you can say it is a kind of a connection point which will connect computer 1 to computer 2 and computer 3 so you will form that computer 1 is connected to two different computers so that will happen under ring what is star topology star topology is something like this so in between you will have a hub or you can have a switch as well depending upon the computers okay so star mein you will have a star network what is mesh so for example if these are the computers which i am drawing to you okay all the computers will be connected to each and every type of computer so every computer will be connected to another computer so that is a mesh bus topology is simple there will be a single line or you can say shaft and via this particular shaft each and every computer will be connected like this so this is what your bus topology will look like okay here the answer will be option number d if we go back to option number 57 or sorry if we go back to question number 55 right which is a computer hardware component that connects a computer to a network even i think the answer should be option a router will not be the right answer because with router is something which you uh, add something extra plus it will help you to prevent uh, traffic plus this is the primary thing so this will come ahead in front of router so therefore answer will be option number a for 55 56 we have solved now we are coming to 57 Yes, in mesh, each and everything is connected to everything, right? Very good. Now this is a question related to mesh only, so I am not wasting much of your time. The answer will be mesh because it is directly given, right? Connected directly to each other. So this question we have partly solved. Now this is a feature of mesh. All computers are connected to every computer. As simple as that. Okay. Now let's move to question number fifty-eight. World Wide Web. Now this we have discussed. now please answer question number 58 i will not move ahead if you do not answer it 58 please answer it like this 58 and then answer your question world wide web was proposed by which particular person yes it was given by bin or uh, and who is the father of internet <laughs> who is the father of internet i think mayank is so much frustrated over here because he answered it incorrectly before yes it is super easy but certain types of question will come yes the answer will be tim bernard lee let's move ahead question number 59 what are hyperlinks used for also here we will discuss the shortcut for hyperlinks okay because that is very very famous in the last two previous year questions that is in the last two years okay in the last two years we have got questions regarding hyperlinks 
that is why we have made one question of yes 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 good 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 everyone now come back to question number 59 what are hyperlinks used for are they used for web pages are they used to attach a file to an email are they used to send an email to one message to more than one person to move from one page to one place to another so according to me the answer should be option number yes d what is the shortcut to insert an hyperlink it is control plus k c n t r l okay control plus k and what is the color via which you can identify that yes this is the color of hyperlink or you can say that this is a default color by which the computer will highlight the hyperlink can you please let me know the name of that particular color red blue green magenta pink rainbow what is the default color of hyperlinks yes it is blue very good okay so default color is blue the answer of this particular question was option number d good the answer will be blue question number 60 in dash the recipients of the message and the other recipients cannot see the persons who have received it now if you know 2 cc and bcc this is one of the format of your email right so what is the answer over here draft is not the answer email will not be the answer what will be your answer we have already discussed this thing right although we have just discussed the i would say what uh, the full form but here we are discussing the concept purple already open link yes here the answer will be blind carbon copy in carbon copy i am telling the person in two that i have told the other persons as well that i have given you a mail so basically under carbon copy i am doing a kind of informing other people as well but under blind carbon copy i am hiding the name of the persons who i am sending this email okay yes blind carbon copy now this is an easy question good now tell me which particular type of protocol which particular type of protocol will be used to extract or to retrieve an email this we have discussed let me check who how many students are attentive which particular type of protocol will be used to uh, to retrieve or to extract an email i have already told you this let me know the answers is it bbc what is bbc Achha, bbc oh you want to uh, blind carbon copy okay it's bcc not bbc it is pop pop stand for what post office protocol good i can see only few are answering it uh, rosa rosa smtp is not the right answer smtp is used to send mails okay send here i am revive here i am using retracting or retrieving Malam, so i am using pop post office protocol simple mail transfer protocol is used for send is it clear yes now i can see maximum of you are answering pop good Chalo, question number 61 what is the full form of ASCII? ASCII. Now we are moving to number system. <coughs> Quotient number 61. What is the full form of ASCII? And whenever you type your different, different, I would say, text and keyboards, computer is using AICCI only. This is one of the famous, uh, I would say, number system which is used in computers. 61A American Standard Code for Information Interchange or is it all system or is it advanced standard code or is it alphabetical standard code or is it automated system of computer information? Yes, the answer will be American Standard Code for Information. How many bits are there? Can you please let me know? How many bits are there under your uh, ASCCI? ASCCI will have how many bits? I know I will get maximum of the answer, but I will create one confusion over here. So please listen to it very carefully. How many bits are there under ACCI? Like how many bits number are there to for a number system for AICCI? 7 bit or 8 bit? Please let me know. 7 bit or 8 bit or both? How many bits are there? Are 32? No, no, no. I am asking you the code length of ACCI. You are answering me uh, version 4 and version 6 wale answers. The answer of both. Sometimes it will have 7 bits and sometimes it can also have 8 bits. Depends upon which version you are using. Okay. So ACCI can have two types of bits, 7 bits and 8 bits. Remember this thing. Okay. Now those who are answering uh, 64, 32, I don't know what, uh, knowledge, uh, what logic they are applying. Question number 62. 
Mayank is saying, sir, your explanation is excellent. I will ask for one favor. Yes, Nidhi and Shreya, you both are correct. In certain books or in certain website, it is written that ASCII has seven bits, which roughly, uh, which is partly correct, but modern or as you can say that uh, with the time, there are eight bits as well. Okay. Seven or eight bits is the right answer. Cool. Now let's come to decimal number system. Mind you, uh, cover everything so that if Nabad asks anything out of the blue, you will be able to answer it. Number system, you have to remember four kind of number system. First is, I would say binary. Okay. Then you have decimal. Then you have your octa. And then you have your what? Hexa. Hexa. Uh, yes, hexa something. <laughs> Hexa alphanumeric system, yes. Chalo, what will be the answer of question number 62? 62 decimal number system has number from 0 to 9. Now decimal number system means number from 0 to 9. 0 to 9 means what? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now if you count all these number up to uh, up to 9, you will come to know the base of decimal number system is of 10. Basically, how many numbers are there? The base is becoming that only. Under binary, how many numbers are there? Can you please let me know? Under binary, how many numbers are there? Numbers are only 2, that is 0 and 1. Therefore, here the base will be of 2. Okay. Octa. Octa means what? That the base will be of 8. What are the numbers? 0 to 7. Okay, 0 to 8 mat kar dena. 0 to 7. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 8 numbers are there. And hexadecimal number is of 16. 16. Now 16 kaisa aega? 16 aise aega dekho. No ways se. First is that this is an alphanumeric. Alphanumeric means what? That there will be numbers and there will be alphabets. So jo pehle 9 numbers hai. That is pehle 10 numbers. Sorry, not 9. 0 to 9. 0 to 9 is your 10 numbers. I hope you agree. Rest will come from A to F. So basically A, B, C, D, E and F. These are your 6. So here the base will be 16. Ka ho so this you have to remember. Okay. Octa mein base is of 8. Decimal mein base is of 10. Binary mein the base is of 2. Hexa ke under the base is of 16. They can ask you n numbers of things. Now in this slide pe I have discussed 10 questions with you. Okay. The answer was 8. Question number 63. Question number 63. Yes, Shreya is also answering. Uh, 0 to 9 hoga, A to F hoga, but base will be of 16 under hexadecimal. 0 to 15 nahi bol sakte. But 0 to 9, A to 5, A to F is the right thing. Yes, uh, hexa. Hexa will be 0 to 9, not 0 to 8. Okay. Now, ye jisko hi samaj mein aara hoga, jisne number system padha hai. Okay, for like, agar nahi padha hai, you can tell me, I can explain you as well. Yes, 63 is very easy. Digits of binary system is called as what? Bits. As simple as that. What is the base under binary system? Jalli se bata do. What is the base under binary system? What is the base under binary system? What is the base under binary system? Jalli batao. We are only uh, like by 9.30 I will finish, I promise. Yes, 2. Let's move ahead. Very easy question. Question number 64. What is the primary function? Sorry. Uh, what is the primary function of Microsoft Office software? Now we are moving to MS. That is your product which are given by Microsoft. Yes. Question number 64. Remember the basis, remember the numbers, remember how they are coming. As simple as that. Conversion, that is how to convert decimal into binary. That thing you can leave because that is not asked that much in your nabad. Okay. Yes, question number 64. What is the primary function of MS Office? MS Office is what? Your Microsoft Office. Okay. Is it used for gaming? The answer is no. Is it used for graphing, designing or video editing? Graphing designing still you can do, but you cannot do video editing. Productivity in office work? Yes, the answer will be option number C. Scientific research? Nah, Baba. You cannot do any scientific research. So, answer will be option number C. Good. MS Office. Now, tell me. Chalo, I will ask you later on. Question number 65. Yes, this was the question which was I was asking to you. Files extensions. These are very, very important. For example, if there are two people by the name of uh, Saurav. Okay. Saurav. I am picking any random name. Saurav is there. Now, can you... Uh, there are two people. Saurav Jain. 
ओके एंड देन यू हैव सौरव शर्मा If I just say Saurav, can you refer to which particular Saurav I am referring to? The answer is no. But if I say Saurav Jain, then you will say yes that the sir is referring to the person whose name is Jain. In the same manner, these Jain or these Sharma are nothing. These are the surname. In the same manner, we have different different extensions. Extensions are nothing. These are just the surnames which of the files. Okay. Now for Microsoft Word native file format will be your Docs and Docs. Okay. So answer will be C. Now, doc is used for the version up to 2003, up to 2003. But after 2003, that is in the 2007 version, if I'm not wrong, we are using what docs. I hope this much is clear to you. Now, tell me, tell me, uh, what is the extension for Excel files? If I have to use the surname for Excel, E X C E L, Excel files ka surname kya hoga? Excel file ka surname. Or you can say the extension also in computer language. Excel file ka surname. Excel ka Excel X bhi ho sakta hai. X X L S for 2003. Or after 2003 we have X L X S X. Okay. So ye bhi aapko yaad rakhna hai. Sir, why docs is required? This is you should ask this to my uh, Bill Gates or to Satya Nadella. Who are heading the Microsoft? Okay, even I don't know. I am just sticking to the syllabus. As simple as that. Okay, update was there. This I can tell you. But why it was there? Even I don't know. Okay, I am very sorry for that. Okay, PowerPoint ka remember PPT. PowerPoint ka you have to remember PPT. Okay, and PPT X. So X jod dena ek last me. Okay, and what is the हाँ चलो इफ आई आस्क यू रिगार्डिंग नोट पैड चलो आई विल रिवील दिस इमेज यू कैन डू दिस पर्टिकुलर इमेज इन योर रिविजन ओके एंड दिस पर्टिकुलर इमेज इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज दे कैन आस्क यू सर्टेन वॉट आई वुड से फाइल एक्सटेंशन सो दीज आर इंपॉर्टेंट डॉक्स वी हैव डन आर टी एफ इज फॉर वर्ड पैड रिमेंबर वर्ड डॉक्यूमेंट इज डिफरेंट दिस इज एम एस वर्ड बट वर्ड पैड इज डिफरेंट तो वर्ड पैड की जो फाइल होगी वो रिच टेक्स फॉर्मेट आर टी एफ इज वॉट आर टी एफ इज रिच text format notepad ke liye we have txt exe is for executable file now what is executable file that i will explain you later okay ms excel ke liye xlx html hypertext markup language used to design your web pages powerpoint ke liye ppt chalo let's move ahead to question number 666 uh, there is no need to laugh let's focus okay Okay, Mohit is saying X is used for infinite. Therefore, uh, therefore, everywhere X is used for its infinite use. Now the doubt was asked by. Uh, now the person who asked the doubt, uh, I think I have an explanation as per Mohit who has given this in the chat box. X over here represents infinite. Now this is something which I am also listening to the first time, but if you do some search work, then definitely you can find the right answer. Okay. and do not take my reply the previous reply which i gave as a rude reply i was just trying to bring some humor so that we can enjoy as well yes the answer will be spell checker okay uh, yes uh, ios mobile gaming world i hope your doubt is clear you should you are thanking mohit that is a good thing spell checker is used to check different different spellings which are there on ms word cool now let's move ahead question number 67 now this is a tough question so please attempt it very carefully Question number sixty-seven. Consider the following statement in the context of MS Word. Mail merge is used to create form letters for address labels, certificates with unique names, and more. The answer is yes. Mail merge means what? That you will be sending mails to different different people. As simple as that. Alignment option is used to align text in the document. This is also correct. The shortcut key for control and this particular type of I would say bracket is used to decrease font size by one. Now this statement is tough. Baki rest statements are true. Here the answer will be E. That is all of the above. Here the answer uh, correct. Pooch, na the answer will be E. Now tell me what is the shortcut key for right? If I have to do right side alignment in MS Word, let's revise certain generally used shortcuts. Uh, i will early morning uh, ring ring all you can do is if you want to thank me you can put your uh, comments on the in the comment box because that will motivate us for a longer period of time 
no problem sir everywhere here is exhausted somewhere in the life we all are exhausted but this is all life is hello now let's come back to question number 67 yes right side alignment is control plus r left side alignment control plus l center if i am not wrong control plus e and justified is control plus j so remember the four full forms on this particular uh, question we have can solve four four questions control plus right control plus l is for left control plus e is for center and control plus j is for justify okay chalo question number 68 that is very good uh, one thing which is very good in this particular class is that you are open to you know humor kind of thing that is really very rare to see these days yes control plus e is for center control plus r is for right l is for left and control plus j is for justify control uh, chalo question number 68 presentation design that regulates the formatting and layout so basically they are asking you a kind of a template simple so template is a kind of thing which is definitely offering you a kind of a design which you can use for making your presentation this is again very easy not wasting much of your time let's move ahead question number 69 hardly 20 questions to go after this okay so hold your well okay चलो क्वेश्चन नंबर 69 स्पेशल इफेक्ट्स यूज्ड टू इंट्रोड्यूस स्लाइड्स इन प्रेजेंटेशन नाउ रिमेंबर व्हेन आई एम यूजिंग स्लाइड 1 आई एम यूजिंग स्लाइड 2 सो फॉर एग्जांपल माय करंट स्लाइड इज ऑफ क्वेश्चन नंबर 69 राइट व्हेन आई स्विच फ्रॉम क्वेश्चन नंबर 69 टू क्वेश्चन नंबर 70 आई कैन यूज व्हाट ट्रांजिशंस ट्रांजिशंस मींस व्हाट दैट हाउ स्लाइड 70 विल कम that is what transition is all about but if on this particular image i want to use on this particular slide i want to set some animations animations means what that how this image will come on this slide only this slide pe if you are doing an you know a kind of an artwork on one slide that is animation on between two it is transitions okay let's move ahead cool question number 70 what is the minimum zoom range in excel sheet you have to remember this because this is again a favorite question in computer awareness remember ms word karna hai aapko ms word ms excel karna hai and then you have to do microsoft powerpoint okay powerpoint simple ye teen hi karne hai you do not have to do ms access and ms i would say what outlook because us pe se basic basic pad lo in teenon ko acche se padhna hoga ye 70a no 8% is not the right answer see i am telling you the zoom range of all these three theek hai yahan pe main minimum likh raha hu yahan pe main maximum likh raha hu okay minimum submit 10% hi rahegi okay word ke andar excel ke andar powerpoint ke andar sab ke andar minimum 10% hi rahega why you people are answering it as a answer b hona chahiye yes the answer is b only 8% kaise hoga आंसर इज टेन ओके एंड मैक्सिम माइंड यू वर्ड के अंदर हो सकता है फाइव हंड्रेड परसेंट ओके एंड हेयर इट विल बी फोर हंड्रेड एंड फोर हंड्रेड और ये इमेज मैंने शायद डाली है येस यू कैन यूज दिस इमेज फॉर योर रिविजन पर्पज एज वेल डोंट आंसर इट एज ए इट इज टेन परसेंट ओके लेट मी रीड इट अकेन वॉट इज द मिनिमम येस द आंसर विल बी बी ओनली ओके क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवेंटी वन वेरी इजी क्वेश्चन आई एक्सपेक्ट यू ऑल टू आंसर दिस क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवेंटी वन come on and uh, we are about to close our class like 20 questions are done so i will take hardly half half an hour more okay yes excel ppt 400 that is maximum minimum sum mein 10% hai okay question number 71 in ms excel dash displays the name of application and the file currently in use identify x from the following option displays the name of application or the file now this is very easy state uh, it will be title bar okay title bar is that particular bar where will you will you will get the name of that particular file status bar formula bar or what are the other kinds of bar that you can read it from this particular explanation which is given to you but the answer of that particular question was option number a status bar mein you will like, if you have a current status of workbook or does that does not it does not display the name mind you title bar is there okay question number 72 a way, again a very easy question i would say text styling feature of ms word is called as what mind you you have to do like in previous year question we have solved this question headers and footers are present on 
which particular page then your answer will be every page okay now those are easy questions based on then only based on that only i have developed these questions question number 72 i here means my subordinate let me take the name of himanshu he has developed this pbt i have just reviewed it so he is a very good person okay question number 72 text styling feature of ms word is called as what text styling feature is known as what yes it is word art my friend word art hoga word fund kya hota hai word art is the correct answer b is not the correct answer word art means what that you can add different different colors you can add different different styles you can add different different other stuff to your text which you are entering in your ms word okay word ki baat thi ms excel now ms excel sorry not excel excel yes word art is the correct answer question number 73 in ms access okay ms access mind you it is a database management system what is database management system in a very short manner if there are if there is a collection of records of different different people like if i have a collection of all the 69 people who are sitting with me right now what is your name what is your phone number what is your phone number what is your gmail id where you are from what is your address so on and so forth if i have to arrange all these different different documents or this different different datas in a well presentation form that is nothing it is just your database management system so basically you will get pie charts you will get tables you will get different different other kinds of dbms in a very good manner ms access is a kind of a dbms only mind you ms outlook ek outlook bhi hota hai that is an email hosting services services which is offered by your microsoft good yes chalo question number 73 yes dash answers a question sorting and filtering based on the search criteria so that will be your query very good query is that particular thing which will help you to get the answer from the database which you have okay now see my friend what is uh, first you have to understand chalo i will let you know on the next slide because that will make some sense now what is a database tell me what is a database what is a database what is a database can you define database option number a, a random collection files of data random collection kaise hoga random collection means that you are just putting the data here and there so it will become data it will not be information right 74 c a single text file with a list of name yes oh sorry logically related information yes the answer will be option number c something which is logically rearranged something which is something which is managed so that will be your answer okay so database is an organized form of you can say information as well now we are coming to dbms now we are coming to a table now this is a very interesting topic although no questions have been asked but this is again very famous concept in the field of i would say bot abacus origin is in asian greece not in china no no according to the best of my knowledge abacus was in the china only and this is as per the textbook definition which i have arrangement of data related okay question number 75 kilobyte nice name question number 75 dbms compromises of tables now what is tables my friend understand this thing now for example there are different different kinds of dbms for example there is hierarchy dbms then there is network dbms and there is relational dbms so there are three kinds of dbms which you will see in your computer language now first i am explaining you what is relational database that will make your concept clear then we will understand hierarchy and network okay so relational is nothing it is just in the form of tables now in tables you will have what column column 1 column 2 and column 3 okay and then you will have different different rows okay so vertical things are your column and your horizontal things are your rows so i will write row 1 row 2 and row 3 okay and row 4 and so on and so forth okay now see this is what database is all about database will give you different different types of things so table can again be a form of database but it is which kind of database a relational database now this particular row 1 is related to column 1 or you can say row 1 is connected to column 3 as well or different different other columns so why it is a relation because rows are connected to column so that is why it is a relational database simple mind you here my friends that uh, rows 
rows here you have to remember the other name they are also called as records another name of record is t t that is your tuples so this is the acronym you have to remember r r r hota hai you all have to remember the r r t rows stands for records record stands for tuples so all these three things means the same now here dbm is composed of rows rows are called what records and mind you the columns columns ke liye you have to remember football club okay f stands for field column stands for what c so this you have to remember that fc fc stands for column so column ko apna fields bhi bol sakte ho and you also have to remember one more word which is a columns ko aap attributes bhi bol sakte ho okay so this you have to remember as simple as that okay cool the answer will be option number b cool let's move to option number 70 question number 6 76 are do not uh, disturb uh, i would say do not get yourself disturb a backus like again if you go back and read uh, on a authentic source you will find it from china only do not worry we will have a discussion on that later but right now rows of a relation rows of a relation is known as what row of a relation is known as what yes remember the acronym rrt record rows and tuples so the answer will be tuples one more thing how many rows are there in your table for example if i go back to the previous example currently i have four rows or you can say five row this is the last row right now number of rows kitni hai usko apan bolte cardinality c a r cardinality of that particular table okay and numbers of column kitne hai usko apan bolte degree तो ये सब भी याद रख लो अगर आ गया क्वेश्चन तो यू विल बी थैंकिंग मी ओके थैंक यू गौतम अबैकस इज फ्रॉम चाइना ओके लेट्स नॉट हैव दैट डिबेट राइट नाउ माय फ्रेंड लेट्स फोकस ऑन क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवेंटी सिक्स ओके कार्डिनलिटी याद रख लेना नंबर ऑफ रोज होगा ओके okay? डिग्री क्या होगा नंबर ऑफ नंबर ऑफ कॉलम्स कॉलम्स के लिए एक्रोनिम क्या है फुटबॉल कप ऑफ ऑस्ट्रेलिया और यू कैन से अगर मुंबई से अगर आपको याद रखना है फुटबॉल कप ऑफ अंधेरी ठीक है तो वहां पे एक है भी सही विच आई वॉज यूज टू बी अ पार्ट ऑफ तो फुटबॉल कॉलम्स एंड अंधेरी सॉरी फुटबॉल कॉलम्स एंड एट्रीब्यूट फील्ड कॉलम्स एंड एट्रीब्यूट ओके क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवेंटी सेवन क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवेंटी सेवन नाउ वी आर कमिंग टू डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ डाटा बेसिस क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवेंटी सेवन क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवेंटी सेवन numbers of row is cardinality <coughs> question number 77 come on my friends hardly few more questions to go after this we will go back to our homes question number 77 under dash type of database data is organized in the form of tree tomorrow my friends we will discuss regarding decision making under decision making there is decision tree now decision tree will have different different types of nodes so kal bhi you have to come in this way we will cover decision making as well and decision making again marathon plus previous year question will help you to clear cut off okay question number 77 dash is a type of database where data is organized in the form of tree with nodes it will be hierarchical okay plant database kuch nahi hota hai relational database is form of what relation database is a form of table network database there will be a server and people will be connected to it as simple as that okay so this i have told you you can always refer to the theoretical part by yourself question number 78 architecture of a database now architecture of a database can be broken into how many levels architecture of a database can be broken into how many levels architecture of a database come on after this hardly few more questions to go 12 more architecture of a database can be viewed from three levels now what are those three level i have given you one image to understand okay now for example where is my arrow yes now understand this thing this is my database or you can say this is my big storage which i have now i have to show some information from this particular storage now this particular storage is very very big it contains the data of almost 1 lakh students you can say so the first level is internal level internal level means what that you are extracting some data so for example agar yahan pe 1 lakh students ka data hai so i have extracted the data of 100 people 
so this is the lowest level of data abstraction and it is done in the form of physical level how ki ye to 100 uh, 1 lakh people ka data hai that this now i have converted this data into hard disk i have taken this data in some physical format i have taken this data in some kind of memory which i can touch so this you have to remember that is internal level and remember this is the lowest level why lowest level because this is level 1 and why it is physical physical because you are holding this data in some kind of physical manner as simple as that then you comes to conceptual conceptual means what that you will be drawing certain relationships or you can say logics in your i would say what data which you have just extracted for example in 100 students i am trying to extract the logic that how are the marks they have scored in different different mock tests so this is what your conceptual level is all about you will try to derive some logic and then comes your what the last level which is your external level this is the highest level of data abstraction why because here different different users can be able to see it for example i want to analyze the marks of different different students anjit sir wants to analyze the marks so i am the user one anjit sir over here is user 2 ekta ma'am can become user 3 and other teacher shamli ma'am or diksha ma'am can become user 4 so this you have to remember remember all these different different i would say yellow highlighted words because they will help you in scoring good as well question number 79 chalo last 10 questions question number 79 virus stands for what now virus is a very popular full form my friends vital information resource under siege i hope you remember it chalo question number 79 i am giving you the time chalo last 10 questions to go my friend do not lose the i would say energy why you are not answering 79 i need answers from 79 even my back is aching now but koi na sah lenge चलो क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवेंटी नाइन एफ सम स्पिरिट क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवेंटी नाइन वायरस stands for vital information under siege now what was the first virus remember it was creepers which was developed in the year 1986 but if i ask you which was the first boot virus boot virus kaun sa ho jayega pehla which was the first boot virus which is the first boot virus which was developed बूट वायरस कौन सा हो जाएगा त्रिवेणी प्लीज राइट योर आंसर ओनली वन टाइम विच विल बी द फर्स्ट बूट वायरस फर्स्ट वायरस वॉज क्रीपर्स आई अग्री टॉर्जन हॉर्स नो 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 टॉर्जन हॉर्स वॉज नॉट द फर्स्ट येस वेरी गुड सनिका इट इज वॉज ब्रेन वायरस ओके सो फर्स्ट बूट वायरस समथिंग विच इज अटेक्टिंग द समथिंग विच इज अफेक्टिंग योर बूटिंग देन योर आंसर विल बी ब्रेन वायरस बट जर्नली इफ आई आस्क यू विच इज द फर्स्ट ब्रेन वायरस और विच इज विच इज द फर्स्ट वायरस देन योर आंसर विल बी क्रीपर्स ओके चलो क्वेश्चन नंबर एटी नाउ वी आर डीलिंग विथ डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ वायरसेस ओके क्वेश्चन नंबर एटी क्वेश्चन नंबर एटी विच सॉफ्टवेयर इज डिसाइंड to prevent search and detect and remove software virus as well as other malicious software like worms torders and adwares now what is worm my friend something which will duplicate for example if worm enters in your computer it is a one virus and later it will get one two three four five so worm is something which will duplicate itself as simple as that torsion torsion horses hota hai torsion horses is a type of a virus wherein you will think that yes this particular file is seeming friendly to me you will download it but in reality it is just a corrupt file for example if you download the pdf of this particular class touchwood and you have just downloaded it thinking that that it is a good file but once it enters into your computer then the real game will start it will destroy different different things so basically a friend has become a foe as simple as that okay what is adware adware can someone let me know what is adware yes the answer is antivirus chalo what is adware can someone know what is adware what is the meaning of adware there is one concept which is spyware also so adware is nothing if you are seeing different different ads on your browser or certain websites those ads can be affected by the viruses basically once you click on that particular ad you will be directed to some other page and that particular other page is nothing it is just the virus okay so adware ho gaya torsion ho gaya worms ho gaya firewall firewall is a kind of a watchman i would say 
फायर वॉल इज अ काइंड ऑफ वॉट अ चौकीदार काइंड ऑफ थिंग वाई बिकॉज दिस पर्टिकुलर फायर वॉल विल प्रिवेंट ऑल द वायरसेस टू कम इन टू योर कंप्यूटर सो फायर वॉल इज अ काइंड ऑफ अ डिफेंस सिस्टम विच हेल्प योर वायरसेस टू कीप एट अ बे ओके एड वायर समझा दिया एंटी वायरस प्रोग्राम एंटी वायरस प्रोग्राम इज जस्ट यू कैन से काइंड ऑफ अ प्रोग्राम विच विल फाइट अगेंस्ट द वायरसेस दिस इज अ यूटिलिटी सॉफ्टवेयर What is utility software? I have explained you. Intrusion detection system. Again, if someone is trying to enter your, I would say what computer, this particular system will help you help you to come to know that who is entering. What is VPN? Can someone let me know what is VPN? What is VPN? What is VPN? Tapan is here. Software that secretly installs. on devices what is the answer like adware advertisement cs yes. ransomware is also there yes very good gotham ransomware means what that there will be some you know people on the dark web they will be asking inform they will be i would say what uh, like they will be coursing you and yes blackmailing you that you have to transfer certain amount of money in their account so they will be asking for some ransom a uh, virtual private network good virtual private network is a kind of network which you will develop for yourself so that you can remain or remain safe uh, samuel is asking sir kya uh, is level ki yes definitely you will get the question see the previous year questions based on previous year question we have made our lecture okay so just see them cool and what is spyware spyware for example if you have known about pegasus pegasus is a kind of a spyware only they will spy on you okay now more about it we will discuss in somewhere when we are free but question number 81 now question number 81 chalo question number 81 hardly last nine questions to go question number 81 dash is an extensively used large email typically thousand of message or one large message sent to the user email account this is done to crash the system and this is what your what mail bomb is all about mail bomb means what that you have got almost like 1 lakh mail in one single day so that will just crash your system and each and every mail is affected okay toolkit tool root kit is something which will hide like for example hide and seek right so root kit is a hide and seek game only it will try to hide virus will try to play hide and seek with the antivirus of your computer what is sniffer sniffer is again for example if i am communicating on internet with someone there are different different people who will try to sniff my information they will try to steal my information so that is sniffer scareware i have already told you it is a kind of a ransom attack only ransom that they will try to uh, Uh, they will try to malign your image they will try to again they will try to threaten you that if you do not transfer the amount they will tarnish your image cookies can someone let me know what is cookies if they are not feeling hungry the floor is open now for cookies what is cookies uh what is cookies the answer for 81 is mail bomb that is option number e what is cookies cookie that can someone let me know what is cookies i am waiting for your answers hello chalo i have shown you the answer what is cookies so i will tell you cookies again they are just for you know storing the data on your web page you can say so that you can access the data again yes simple question number 82 now 82 question number 82 root kit we have discussed root kit is nothing it is just you uh, these these type of sorry these type of viruses will try to hide itself from the antivirus program phishing phishing is nothing you are getting some official mails and all these mails are nothing they are just you know duplicate mails which have been sent from your hacker okay so for example if you have got a mail from i would say sbi bank and that particular mail shows you that you have won a lottery of uh, 5000 crore or something so now that is happening over a mail so that is of phishing in the same way if i'm not wrong we have your a uh, smishing as well which is done on your phone messages okay scareware i have explained you mail bomb also the answer will be cavity virus cavity virus is also known as space filler file so for example if you have download any infected file and if you have virus in it then cavity virus will definitely go into the empty spaces as simple as that chalo now what is append virus append virus will come as a free gift for example if you are downloading this particular file append virus will somewhere hide b 
behind this particular file. Now, once you are downloading this particular file, you will download append virus as well. So this is getting appended. Appended means what? That it is coming in free or you can say it is coming together. Boot sector virus is what? That's something which will affect your booting. Your BIOS will not work correctly. Your post will not work correctly. So that is what your boot sector virus is. Cavity virus is something which will go and uh, fill the space which is empty. Yes, spoofing. Question number 83. Mechanism to protect network from the outside attack is called as what? Mechanism pucha hai. Activities ni pucha hai. So please answer it correctly. Easy question hai. Question number 83. Hardly 7 more questions to go. And I hope you enjoyed the class. Question number 83. Solve the previous year questions, my friend. Please, the video is available on the YouTube. All you need to do is just solve them. Yes, it is firewall. Firewall is that particular kind of mechanism which will protect the attacks which are coming from different, different uh, author, unauthorized access. Cool. What is firewall? You can understand it with the help of that. What is torsion horse now? Now, torsion horse we have understood as well. Now, remember, there is one stealth virus as well. Stealth virus is there as well. Okay, stealth virus again, it's a kind of a virus only. Okay, question number 84. Question number 84. What is torsion horse according to the definition which is given in this option set? And after this class, my friend, if you have any feedback, positive or ne negative, you can drop your mails and hello at the edutab.co.in. Okay. So these are the line which we have to speak as per the dozier which is given to us. Okay. So do not think that I am asking for the feedback. But yes, I am happy with the lesson which I have done till now because it's almost three, uh, three hours class. A torsion house is a deceptive software that appears to be legitimate, but it is your malicious intent. Okay. Cool. The answer will be C. 85. Question number 85. Now, almost all the topics are covered up. We have discussed memory, software, MS Office, hardware, uh, computer organization, data processing cycle, instruction cycle, different, different things we have discussed. Okay. Language translators, system software, operating system. So, we have discussed your computer at length. What is tunneling virus? A new term for me as well. Can you please let me know the answer? Tunneling virus and yes, I have to search for the meaning of X and uh, one more thing swan was there, right? So I have to do this as a homework for me. Question number 85 dash enable you to keep multiple web pages open in one browser. The answer will be tab row 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 hoga na? because if you see if you open your browser, you will have your different different tabs arranged like this, right? So it is a kind of a row only, right? How it can be tab column. It is tab row. Okay, column is something which is like this. Okay, but we, the answer was tab row. Okay. Question number 86. Question number 86. Uh, now Nilesh is changing the answer. Tapan is totally going on the different track. Question number 86. The capacity of the communication channel is measured in what? Yes, tab row is the correct answer. Question number 86. <coughs> question number 86. Uh, question number 84. Just a second. First, let's finish quota number, uh, question number 86. Yes, the answer is bandwidth. Now, these are journal journal terms which you should remember. Question number 84. Uh, torsion horse the main feature is that that it will look friendly but in reality that particular friendly is your nothing it is your enemy so that is the main thing now a malware which spread rapidly across a network this can be your warm as well w r w o r m warm means what that it will i will say it is a kind of a virus which will replicate itself very fast so that is a warm but here the correct answer will be option number c that it is your it will something like you will trust that particular file as a friend but once you download it it is nothing it is just your enemy 
Okay, so that is why the torsion horse was the correct answer. Okay, bandwidth. Now we are dealing with the shortcuts. So last, I would say four questions are allocated to shortcuts. But believe me, my friends, I will let you know. Chalo, first answer this question. Question number eighty-seven. Which of the following shortcut keys used to duplicate the current slide current slide of your MS PowerPoint? Eighty-six B. Ah, uh, eighty-six or eighty-seven. Ring ring is going thoda slow. I think. <laughs> question number eighty-seven. Yes, for eighty-seven, eighty-four. Remember the movie of Troy, but do not watch it right now. Only watch it, but if you have time, it is a good movie. You will enjoy it. And you have one of the famous actors as well over there. Okay, question number eighty-seven. Which of the following is the shortcut to duplicate? Duplicate me. याद रखना copy नहीं यहाँ पे ये copy होता है maximum times control C is for copy. Duplicate के लिए it will be C. That is option number C. Now I am telling you what. Listen to it very carefully. Shortcuts and short forms. These are like very, 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 very important to do. But whatever you do, it is very less only because there, there is no end to it. Okay. For example, in current affairs, there is no end. In the same way, there is no end to what I would say shortcuts and short forms. Now, what is the priority which you have to give? First, give priority to MS Office. That is your, I would say, Microsoft Office. Then give priority to MS. I would say Excel. Okay, E X C E L, and then give MS. to powerpoint okay so first you have to give to ms word or you can say word office whatever you want to say okay ms word ms excel ms powerpoint first learn the full forms or shortcuts which are related to ms word agar ye nahi ho raha then there is no need to cover ms excel and ms powerpoint okay but please remember you cannot cover everything so just remember the major major one okay here if you see i have given you an image which will help you to cover certain important shortcuts of powerpoint Okay, now if you are unable to do everything, just remember the basic, basic thing. Like Control plus D is used for duplicate. Escape is used for ending the slideshow. In PowerPoint, the major function is of F5. That is how to start your slideshow. Control plus F F5 will start your slideshow from the current slide. Now this is what your I would say homework is. Okay, so if the time permits. first you have to do the shortcuts of ms word then come to ms excel and then come to powerpoint okay and this i am saying on the basis of previous year questions because see if i ask you the different different full forms this will create your monotonous session okay so i do not want to do it therefore it is a kind of an homework for you if you want to do it i have given you the list you can do it okay question number 88 what is the common shortcut key is commonly used to paste the content now you will say sir itna easy aayega kya last year aap question khol ke dekho they have asked you the short shortcut of how to do bold now how to do bold this we have learned in our school days right this we have learned in our school days control plus b on the base basis i am asking you how to do paste the answer will be what control plus v that is how to paste control plus c is for copy control plus p is for print control plus a is for uh, sorry control plus a is for selecting all the text control plus o is for open and control plus x you let me know the let you let me know the function of control plus x control plus x chalo control plus x tomorrow same time decision making 6 to 9 and that will be end from my end okay i am teaching computer and decisions only in your nabard control plus x yes cut simple hai theek hai control plus p print control plus f to find control plus g tell me what is the function of control plus g control plus g ka control plus g Control plus G. You have to answer it today only. Ah, uh, Control plus G. I am asking. Hello, am I audible, guys? Go. Oh. Chalo, I will give you the list over here as well. Mind you, this is the overall list for MS Word shortcuts. Now you will ask me, sir, itna karna padega. MS Word ko to aapko first priority pe rakhna hi rakhna hai. Okay? So 
तो दिस यू हैव टू डू एंड दिस यू हैव टू फॉलो माय फ्रेंड ओके अब बहुत सारे तो ऐसे होंगे विच यू हैव ऑलरेडी डन ओके लाइक कंट्रोल प्लस के वी हैव डन एल ई आर जे वी हैव ऑलरेडी डन राइट सो यू हैव टू डू इट कूल तो दिस इज योर होमवर्क अगेन आई वुड से डू इट ओनली इफ यू हैव टाइम Do it only if you have the capacities. First, MS Word का तो करना ही करना है. But do move to MS Excel and move to PowerPoint if you have completed this. Okay. Again, these are your formulas. Control plus Z is used for finding and replace. Okay. Now, those who are going for Google, I don't know. Am I cracking any joke over here or what? But no issues. Your you have your own time to pass. I have my own duty to teach. Question number eighty nine. There is Tapan. If I am not wrong, you are the same Tapan which I encountered in management class of RBI. If my memory serves me good, <laughs> Gadar too, <laughs> good. No issues. You can make your funny funny jokes. This and <laughs> there is no issue. Question number eighteen, ah, uh, eighty nine. Last question, or I would say second last question rather. <laughs> That was funny one. Control plus G is for go. <laughs> Sorry. चलो क्वेश्चन नंबर 89 शॉर्टकट की कॉमनली यूज टू ओपन अ न्यू डॉक्यूमेंट न्यू डॉक्यूमेंट इज कंट्रोल प्लस एन ओके ये इज द आंसर ऑफ न्यू डॉक्यूमेंट माय फ्रेंड न्यू अगर कोई नया खोलना है तो इट विल बी कंट्रोल प्लस एन राइट कंट्रोल प्लस ओ इज फॉर ओपनिंग द प्रीवियस डॉक्यूमेंट विच यू हैव मेड ओके कूल ऑन दैट नोट वी आर सॉल्विंग वन प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन विच आई ब्रॉड फ्रॉम नबार्ड ग्रेड ए इससे इजी क्वेश्चन है यहां में नहीं मिलेगा इफ यू आर अनेबल टू सॉल्व दिस देन यू आर डूइंग अ बिग मिस्टेक ओके क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइनटी शॉले शॉर्टकट की टू बोल्ड दी टेक्स्ट द आंसर विल बी ऑप्शन नंबर बी ओ इज फॉर ओपन वी इज फॉर पेज सी इज फॉर कॉपी ए इज टू सेलेक्ट ऑल ओके नाउ माइंड यू आई हैव गिवन यू द शॉर्टकट कीज ऑफ वर्ड पावर पॉइंट एंड हेयर इज द शॉर्टकट की फॉर एक्सेल्स एक्सेल में यू हैव टू रिमेम्बर दीज फोर तो बेसिकली ये तो करके चल सॉरी ये सॉरी 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 आई एम हाईलाइटिंग द रॉन्ग पार्ट दिस शॉर्टकट की हैज टू बी डन राइट दीज दीज हैव टू बी डन पॉजिटिवली इसको भूल के भी मत जाना बिकॉज दे आर वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ऑन दैट नोट माई फ्रेंड द क्लास इज एंडेड प्लीज शेयर योर फीडबैक ऑन हेलो एट द रेट एडू टैप डॉट को डॉट इन एंड ऑल्सो वंस द वीडियो एंड यू कैन ड्रॉप योर कमेंट्स इन द चैट इन द कमेंट बॉक्स ओके माइंड यू दिस इज जस्ट द फर्स्ट स्टेप सेकेंड स्टेप इज सॉल्विंग प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन डू सॉल्व दैम एंड यू विल लाइक इट ओके आई होप द सेशन वॉज इंटरेस्टिंग प्लीज शेयर योर फीडबैक बिकॉज दैट विल मोटिवेट अस दैट विल ऑल्सो ब्रिंग अस न्यू न्यू कंटेंट एंड वी विल बी हैप्पी टू लिसन we will be happy to listen that how we are performing as a teacher okay any doubts anything i am waiting for one more minute after that even i will go and have my lunch okay i hope you enjoyed it even i enjoyed it you people were amazing cool anything else which i can do for you tomorrow decision making same time same content same teacher same content not matlab same same content means same questions format okay decision making we will cover from scratch basics techniques biasness everything okay on that note my friend if you all allow me to go can i go and yes all the jokes which i have uh, told in my class do not take them personally dinner uh, siddharth i just talk regarding dinner Yes, uh, dinner. It is not lunch. Dinner. Okay. And yes, chalo. Any doubts? I am waiting for one minute. And please, you also go and prepare as hard as possible. Only half few days are left now, so prepare as much as possible. Okay. On that note, bye bye, my friends. I am ending this class. And please share your feedback if possible. Okay. Only if it is possible. Bye bye and take care.